We die and we can't take it no further. Heard the angels cry and they scream murder, murder. Heard the angels cry and they scream murder, murder. Oh, you hear them angels crying. Their body shall be laying in the streets. Yeah. Got a knee yeah. on a neck. Yeah. Got us down yeah. on the concrete. Yeah. Land be polluted and it's looking all filthy. What? Shoot us what? down and they hold what? themselves what? not guilty. What? Our justice at the end of a musket. Uh, but these nations to uh, the Lord like uh, a drop of a uh, bucket. Uh, Enemies of God can never be trusted. That's Being right. upright right. when everyone That's around right. me corrupted. Right. But my right. salvation surely coming soon. What? Like after what? a wedding day what? comes a honeymoon. Think the Bible, fairy tales and cartoons. Uh, the Christ coming uh, back with uh, hurricanes and uh, typhoons uh, uh, Our people need healing that spiritual uh, Keep God laws, change uh, yourself, that's a miracle uh, Most high pop trunk, open up the arsenal that's right. Working for that's the right. Lord that's with right. works, that's, that's remarkable right. That's right. Another body slain in the street mm -hmm. And we've been needing change, needing peace mm -hmm. We die and we can't take it no further Heard the angels cry and they scream murder, murder Heard the angels cry and they scream murder, murder yeah. Oh, you hear them angels crying The angels got murder on their mind We in the trap, domesticated Water of affliction, the dentist And never duplicated, sin fabricated I was a menace with that Glock folded Ain't got no love for my brother He better pull before me The blood crying from the soil Smell the heat from the coil All I see is red when my blood begins to boil Hey, now they about to know it's real When my mind on my money Ain't nothing to rob and steal Ain't nothing to pack the steel Ain't nothing to plot a kill Hey, my mama saying that I need to Go to church before these niggas retaliate and leave me dead in a hearse. Little do she know I bought this gun with the money I stole out of purse. Real wretched. Change when I heard the prophets. Real message. An Israelite thanking Yah for repentance. I learned my lesson. Now I'm praying that you listen. I'm gone. Another body slain in the street. Mm -hmm. And we've been needing change, needing peace. Mm -hmm. We dying, we can't take it no further. Heard the angels cry and they scream murder. Murder, heard the angels cry and they scream murder, murder. Oh, you hear them angels crying. Demons surround me because they want my soul, they all feeding. Feedin'. My people, they can't see it's a trick, they all sleeping. Sleepin'. These trials come and check my faith, I'm all down. Yeah. Let me live to the end, my lord, I need that crown. Why I feel like they shooting at me? Uh -uh. Ain't the same cat I used to be. Nope. I ain't running the streets, I just want to find peace. peace. So I can teach my people and try to reach the brothers that I can reach. Really need a time out, but I got to keep pushing. Push that body's on the curve, close my eyes and keep from Look at God, save me from my sins, I don't want bad news uh -uh. Ruling shit for the Jews, that's a dream come true My okay. people need hope While they chilling on the corner, struck out on dope Use a king, use a God, God never tempted you You just tempt yourself Why you trying to play God, you just play yourself Death to Esau Another body slain in the street mm -hmm. And we been needing change, needing peace mm -hmm. We dying, we can't take it no further Heard the angels cry and they scream murder Murder, heard the angels cry and they scream murder, murder, oh you hear them angels crying. Kid, this is you show. wanna pull up on the prophets, come and try It don't matter where we be at, when you see us, we gon' ride We'll pull up where you be at, hit the streets and bring it out Plus we practice what we preach and read them scriptures, then apply hey, hey. You wanna pull up on the prophets, come and try It don't matter where we be at, when you see us, we gon' ride We'll pull up where you be at, hit the streets and bring it out Plus we practice what we preach and read them scriptures, then apply hey, hey. You want that pressure, we got that Scared of prophets, I doubt that Got them scriptures, so don't make us bring it out Cause we bout that Hand chop in your doctrine Lay it down in the coffin Seven morning, rise and shine When we get up, we be out there They call us prophets Proceed with caution or stay to yourself Before you play with the prophets You better pray for some help We bring it out, open your mouth And you gon' quickly regret it Play with my ock and you get chopped Like when the blade me the flesh The prophets back and we the one he chose You don't want no problem Ran through the scriptures and he called us gold nations Sabi, we ain't come to play your pastor preaching. He ain't teaching nothing. He just in the way you looking for the truth. Pull up the prophets out your every day. You wanna pull up on the prophets, come and try. It don't matter where we be at when you see us.
Plus we gon' ride, we'll pull up where you be at, hit the streets and bring it out. Plus we practice what we preach and read them scriptures, then apply. You wanna pull up on the prophets, come and try. It don't matter where we be at, when you see us, we gon' ride. We'll pull up where you be at, hit the streets and bring it out. Plus we practice what we preach and read them scriptures, then apply. Yeah, uh, practice what we preach, just like Judges 511 and Matthew 7. Your deception, you gon' take a rest. Like Jet Li and lead the weapon, we apply the pressure. Apply we come pressure. through kicking, we don't stop it, we just push the message. Whole time you knowing that it's true, but you don't wanna hear the truth. Mr. T pit is the fool, trying to fight, but you gon' lose. Never steady, unapproved. Sunday service got your fool. Wake you up, you hit the snooze. The world is ending, look at the news. Bombs, fires, thunderstorms, earthquakes, make it shake. The earth removing out of place. They call the God, but it's too late. Unbelievers and deceivers, finally time to meet your fate. Pray to God to ask for time, but he just laughing in your face. Think it's a lot of some we trying to tell you right from wrong. To each his own, I guess you're grown, but you ain't gonna listen home. Don't wait too late before you realize that your time is gone. We on the mission, ain't no quick, and we gon' pull you up on You pull up on the prophets, come and try. It don't matter where we be at, when you see us, we gon' ride. We'll pull up where you be at, hit the streets and bring it out. Plus, we practice what we preach and read the scriptures, then apply. You wanna pull up on the prophets, come and try. It don't matter where we when you see us, we gon' ride. We'll pull up where you be at, hit the streets and bring it out. Plus, we practice what we preach and read them scriptures, then apply. Hey, hey, hey. Get it and go, the game in trouble, everything that you know, we came with a struggle, we shine like gold, I came from nothing, the weight of the world, and we ain't pull a muscle, we ain't pull a muscle, we ain't pull a muscle, and we ain't pull a muscle, the weight of the world, we ain't pull a muscle, and we ain't pull a muscle, we get it and go, the game in trouble, everything that you know, we came with a struggle, we shine like gold, I came from nothing, the weight of the world, and we ain't pull a muscle, we ain't pull a muscle, and we ain't pull a muscle, the Israelite man, the weight of the world, and we ain't pull a muscle, hey. Hold a line, I prefer the meal, you can hold the fries. True gospel, you can hold the lies. I can see these demons like a poacher guys. When we left out of Egypt, they soul was crying. Now we head into the promised land. We all in order like a marching band. Spiritual rock, your house built on sand. Hey, we get it and go. In the desert, you know that them heads gon' roll. Face the sun, put their heads on a pole. When Christ come, you know we all gon' know. New body and it ain't gon' fold. It ain't gon' fold. Got a new body and it ain't gon' fold. Hey, it ain't gon' fold. Hey. Join the discussion, take hold on the mission, refrain from sinning and watch how we win in the doctrine we in it. My bro get the kingdom and women and children, whole nation, we need them and sit on the throne like Paul and Peter. Twelve guess we in it, we hot off the meter. We all in one mind with a Spanish or Creole or English, we call it your city. Get it and go, the game in trouble, everything that you know. We came with a struggle, we shine like gold. I came from nothing, the weight of the world, and we ain't pull a muscle. We ain't pull a muscle. We ain't pull a muscle. And we ain't pull a muscle, the weight of the world, we ain't pull a muscle. And we ain't pull a muscle, we get it in gold, the game in trouble, everything that you know, we came with a struggle, we shine like gold, I came from nothing, the weight of the world, and we ain't pull a muscle. We ain't pull a muscle. And we ain't pull a muscle, the Israelite man, the weight of the world. And we ain't pull a muscle. From pushing bricks in Egypt, to pushing rocks on the corner. From yellow fever to A's and gonorrhea, now we fighting with the Rona, but we ain't pull a muscle. Whoa, got lost in the shuffle. Then I pull out the Bible and pick up the pieces, treat it like a puzzle. If you a dog, this the mother, shut up. I'm baptized, you just wet up. Running plays, this the setup. Mighty men never let up. This that David and Jonathan. Not a sprint, a marathon and then run it again. Okay, you get tired, just run it again. Hook back, I got reading, I'm running it again. I got preachers, some preachers, some cutting again. Hiroshima push the button again. I drop bombs, give me palms, I got something to win. The kingdom at hand, only us can get it. I mean, we, the sheep, the reason why we hit the streets. Sheets, learn the commandments to keep. Romans 13, wake up from your sleep. Game time, no, we done Get for the sweep. Get the game in trouble, everything that you know. We came with a struggle, we shine like gold. I came from nothing, the weight of the world, and we ain't pull a muscle. We ain't pull a muscle. We ain't pull a muscle. And we ain't pull a muscle, the weight of the world, we ain't pull a muscle. And we ain't pull a muscle, we get it in gold, the game in trouble, everything that you know. We came with a struggle, we shine like gold, I came from nothing, the weight of the world, and we ain't pull a muscle. We ain't pull a muscle. And we ain't pull a muscle, the Israelite man, the weight of the world. And we ain't pull a muscle. Hey. Enemy nations will never trade places with us. Trade places. They wouldn't trade places. I hope you're not offended when I say that Christ is racist. 
But they wouldn't trade places with us Trade places They wouldn't trade places I hope you're not offended when I say that crisis races Enemy nations would never trade places with us Trade places Switch spaces We on the top, they on the bottom like some cavemen I hope you're not offended when I say that Christ is racist He coming to save us, these other nations hate us Please don't debate us, it won't work to your favor I look just like my maker, I'm blessed and highly favored I hope you're not offended when I say that Christ is racist Enemy nations would never trade places with us Trade places Trade places. I hope you're not offended when I say that Christ is racist. But they wouldn't trade places with us. Trade places. They wouldn't trade places. I hope you're not offended when I say that Christ is racist. Enemy nations would never trade places. I'm so with sick us. of this stuff. Don't mind me, my living is tough. Sometimes I think why we got it rough. Then I open the book and see we got his love. The white man label us criminal thugs. They chill at the top while we live in the mud. All they praises to the most high. All praises to the most high. Bring us in. All praise to the most high. Yeah, that was uh what's the name of that song? That was Officer Aria. That's Juville out of uh, North Mississippi. Name of that song, Trade Places. A lot of people was asking about the music. Yeah, them brothers make good music up there, man. Uh, which one was that? Pull Up. Oh, All Saturday Night. No, it was another song, too. They said that they was just, for that song, they was just on. I just seen it on YouTube. Also, the other song, that was by uh, the brother to my left, Adonizer. Yes, sir. That brother got boss. All praise to the Most High God. Hey, welcome to another edition of Escaping the Plantation 2.0. Yes, sir. It's going down. Gonna let the siren run out, man. It's just gonna let it run. Gonna let the siren. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. It's going down. Gonna get them hype, bro. You in the spirit. All praise to the Most High. So, with that being said, with that being said, we're gonna have a good show for you today. The name of the show today is Scientology or Science versus God's Wisdom. You know, that's the reason they made science, right? They wanted to debunk God. Wow. It ain't gonna happen. You played yourself. I'm yeah. one of your hosts. I also got a liar to my left. Officer Adonijah. All praise to the most high to my right. Officer Zariah. And to my far right. Officer Hosanna. Officer Hosanna. You might have profit, bro. I'm gonna say so myself. That's so right. Just stay in the spirit. But I'll pray to the most high. Let's go ahead and open up with that scripture, man. You know, Psalm chapter 71 and verse 2. Let's start off there. Yes, sir. The book of Psalms, chapter 71, and verse 2. Bring it out. Deliver me in thy righteousness, and cause me to escape. Incline thine ear unto me, and save me. So we named this show Escaping the Plantation because we do realize that our brothers and sisters are still on a plantation spiritually, mentally, till this day. All right? Our brothers are in Christianity, they're in Islam, they're in Scientology. I didn't, like you said earlier, I didn't know that many black people were involved in Scientology. Some people think that that's only an Edomite religion that they only bring Edomite said, but no, nah, it's a lot of black folks in that thing too, man. I'm telling you, a lot of black people have lost their way. The Israelites done lost their way, man. We go for anything. We search for anything other than God, man. We trying to find answers in all the wrong places. Hey, you know what else falls under that? Uh, atheism. Yes. Hey, you don't believe in nothing, so you got to believe in science. So. Right. But don't that mean you believe in something? <laughs> These folks crazy. <laughs> hey, this, this TV went off. I don't know why. Yeah, that's heavy. What you said though, they don't believe in God or the God of the Bible at least, cause, cause they'll even give they'll even give Islam credit. Right. Like they'll give anything credit other than the Bible. They want to go so hard. You know why? I'm gonna tell you why a lot of atheists want to. Oh man, we back up. It did it cut off that stream, so it's a whole new stream. Got to start over. Wow. Who raised you? Okay, it's official. Like, okay, all praise to the Lord. So we back on. All right, so we back on with our stream, all praise to the Most High. So we ask the Lord to save us from these conditions, to give us the opportunity to escape. And this Bible is that opportunity. 
So we're going to jump into it today, uh, Scientology or Science versus the Bible. Let's start out with that first video real quick. It's a video that we got called uh, the 10, 10 Biblical Miracles Explained by Science. We're going to do 10, 9, and 8 because it's a long video and then, you know it takes us forever to try to go through the whole thing. So we're not going to do that. But we will run through those first three. All right. So let's pull up that video. 10 Biblical Miracles Explained by Science. They, they, all, they Look, they all got a problem with the Bible, bro. It's the Bible they got a problem with. Right. When it ain't them. Right. <laughs> they got a problem with the Bible because they know it's true deep down inside. They know it's for one people. That's right. All right. So let, let's uh, let's start this video off. Let's go. They already messed up with the Top two. With, uh, supposed to be Moses. Explained by science. Ten. The Red Sea. In the book of Exodus, God gives Moses the power to part the Red Sea, allowing the Israelites to escape Egypt. U.S. scientists have shown that the passing of the sea could have been caused by a natural phenomenon known as wind set-down. This type of wind is strong enough to push back the sea and reveal a dry path of land, enabling people to walk safely. When researchers created a simulation of a wind set-down and applied it to the Nile, they discovered that an easterly wind blowing at 1,010 kilometers per hour for 12 hours would have pushed back the sea for four hours and this would have given the Israelites enough time to cross. Pause. Nine. Were there any of those industrial fans at that time? This is the problem. Like, if you simple and you don't know the Bible, you'll say, okay, so we can get fans to generate. Yeah, 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 that's how it happened. Right. What? Stupid. We didn't have, did they have, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, did they have that type of. Right, like, what power source did you use to make the fan blow that Exactly. Fan? One, one. <laughs> you understand? I'm dead, but this is, this is. Them going out of their way to debunk God. You understand? This has always been the way of the so-called white man. Go ahead. And you know what's heavy about that? It was a, a show on Netflix. Uh, a, it was it was a Bible-based movie or whatever. And what happened was during the middle of the movie, Moses went and stuck his the Moses that they have. Of course, he was white. He went and stuck his staff in the river and he left it there. And you just see maybe a tip of it. But when you come back when they get ready to cross, you see the whole staff. So they get to cross it over the the sea or whatever, and just so happened it wasn't God part in the sea. It just was a low tide that day. Oh God! You see what I'm what? saying? Anything they can to go against the holy scriptures. So let's deal with that miracle real quick. Let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 14. Let's start at verse 15. Let's deal with that real quick. Let's out. see what the Bible says regarding that, because way the way they just said it, they can basically regenerate God's miracle with. Um, a science. Huh? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Read that real. Exodus uh, 14 and 15. The book of Exodus, chapter 14 and verse 15. Bring it out. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. Go ahead. But lift thou up thy rod. Do what? Lift thou up thy rod. So Moses, a black man that looked like an Egyptian, he was so dark. That's you understand? Right. He lifted up his, uh, what did he say he did? What? He lifted up his rod. Read. And stretch out thine hand over the sea. Come on. And divide it. And do what? Divide it. So he lifted up the rod over the sea and divided it. This is the power the Lord gave Moses. You understand? Go ahead. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. No, somehow fans from the future emerged and it hit the side tide of the Red Sea and it parted perfectly to each side. Therefore, they was able to have enough room to walk over on dry ground, which no man had done ever before. Bruh. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. You know what? I got something for him. Right I got something for him. Go to yeah. Wisdom of Solomon. Yeah. Go to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 19 real quick. Notice it say dry ground. And in the video, they talking about it was uh, that uh, they call it like high tide when the winds move the waters but that's not gonna dry the ground that, thank you that is not gonna dry the ground so you can walk across man if you don't bring it out brother bring it out <laughs> give me that real quick and wisdom of solomon 19 start at six the book of wisdom of solomon chapter 19 and verse six bring it out. for the whole creature in his proper kind was fashioned again anew uh -huh. serving the peculiar commandments that were given unto them Go ahead. that thy children might be kept without hurt read as namely, a cloud shadowing the camp. What'd that say? A cloud shadowing the camp. What kind of cloud? Is that a real literal cloud? Give me the Psalm 104 verse 3. That ain't no real cloud. That's not a, a, a cloud with thunderbolts coming up out of it or rain. 
You understand? Like they the rain cloud that you see hovering over the land when it's about to rain right. or about to be a thunderstorm. I ain't talking about that, obviously. Get that real quick. Psalms 104, verse 3. Psalms chapter 104 and verse 3. Bring it up. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters. Read. Who maketh the clouds his chariot. The what? The clouds his chariot. The clouds are referring to the chariots of God, right? They call that a uh, unidentified flying object, right? Or now they call them UAPs, uh, unidentified aerial phenomenon. That's what they call it now. Right. But the Bible says those are chariots. You understand? Those are chariots. Go back to wisdom of Solomon. Pick it up where you left off in verse seven. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 19 and verse seven. Go ahead. As namely a cloud shadowing the camp and what water stood before dry land appeared mm. and out of the Red Sea, a way without impediment and out of the violent stream, a green field. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. wait, wait. Okay, explain that to me, science. <laughs> explain how a green field emerged on the sea ground. I'm trying to figure this out. Because every image we've always seen, like the image we just saw, what was at the ground? It was supposed to be cracked ground, right. dry desert land. That ain't what the Bible say. Read that again. Because King Solomon is now giving you more understanding of what happened. Remember, the scripture says in Wisdom of Solomon, get that in Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7. Hold your finger. Get Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 real quick and read verse, um, start at verse 17. The book of the Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7. And we'll come right back to, to chapter 19. Read it again. Verse 17. Yes, sir. Read it out. For he hath given me certain knowledge of the things that are. Namely, to know how the world was made mm -hmm. and the operation of the elements, mm -hmm. the beginning, ending, and midst of time. So King Solomon, the Lord gave him wisdom of what happened in the beginning, during Genesis, during Exodus, because this all happened before he was born. This is the power that we have not realized that the wisdom that God has given to our forefathers, the type of understanding, right? You remember that show they had Pinky and the Brain? Remember the Brain was supposed to be so smart, but he always did dumb stuff. Right. You understand? <laughs> Our forefathers wasn't like that, other than the fact that they sinned against God. That's when they lost that knowledge. That's when they lost the wisdom, the power. You understand? It was when they sinned against the ultimate power. As long as we was in the good graces of God, we were the most intelligent, the most impactful, the most mightiest warriors, best looking, best groomed, best everything. That's right. Immaculate people, just beautiful people. You understand? With all kind of gifts and strength and spiritual abilities, right? And wisdom. We sin against God. That's why we down here running around in these streets, shooting each other, selling dope, crackheads, messed up. But just don't ever forget that the children of Israel have always been God's favorites. That's right. So why would he give them all his wisdom? You understand? Now, keep reading. Did you finish that out? It's still some more in the end of it. All right, go ahead. The beginning, ending, and midst of the times. The alterations of the turning of the sun. Wait a minute. The alterations of the turning of the sun. I thought the sun sit in the middle of the universe and everything goes around it. Message. So the sun turned? Yeah. Hmm. Go ahead. And the change of seasons. <sighs> go back to Wisdom of Solomon 19. Let's read verse 7 again, please. The book of the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 19 and verse 7. Go ahead. It's namely a cloud shadowing the camp. And where water stood before a dry land appeared. And out of the Red Sea, a way without impediment. And out of the violent stream, a green field. So a green field grows up out of the ground. Right. And so we ain't walking on no, on no cracked ground. Right. We walking on beauty, Lord, so I'm going to take care of my kids. Watch me flex real quick. Right, that's crazy. I was like, like, even though it doesn't say it, ain't going to tell them, like, you know what I'm saying? Most I could have flowers down there. Thank you. All kind of stuff going on. That's what right. I'm saying. The most I said, I'm going to flex birds, real quick. Birds, I'm going to pop chirping. my knuckles. Birds chirping. Right, it's beautiful. Dogs barking. They back there blinded, about to get swallowed by the sea. We just walking across all smooth, you know what I'm saying? Oh, look at this. Look, look over the side of like just an aquarium. Imagine the animals. <laughs> they looking like, who is these? <laughs> Who is them niggas on that net? <laughs> we passing through the Red Sea with all kind of power, man. I'm just telling you, like, don't play with the God of this Bible. You understand? Scientologists try to say, don't believe that, don't believe that. They don't want you to believe it because they know you, the Israelite. That's right. That's so as right. long as you not believe, because guess what? If, you, if they can debunk the miracles in the Bible, they can try to debunk you, an Israelite. They can try to debunk Christ's image. They go out of their way. Did you finish that? 
Yes, sir, you want verse 8? No, go back to um, Exodus real quick. Let's read 21 and 22 now. 14, 21, 22. The book of Exodus, chapter 14 and verse 21. Bring it out. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind. By a strong east wind. The who, who did that? And the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind. God caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind. The Lord's, the Lord's power did that. You understand? Go ahead. All that night. All what? All that night. Go ahead. And made the dry the sea dry land. Uh huh. And the waters were divided. Go ahead. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground. And the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. So how did that wind hold the water back so long right. from the from the, the, the fans? Right. Because the fans, they ain't going to run out of charge. He saw technology. Run, right. They only went for four hours. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got nothing on the most high God. Understand it. If they got enough That's power right. to generate enough wind, right, to be able to blow a whole river back, why the hell my iPhone don't stay charged all the time? Bruh. <laughs> when y'all going to figure that one out? Why my phone go dead every day? <laughs> I got to leave on the charger all night. The hell it is. Man, maybe they gonna piss me off, man. They gonna sit up here gonna try to debunk God with that BS. But you can't. Why your cars ain't flying yet? I'm right. still trying to figure this one out. Damn. Don't get me started. All right. So, <laughs> why every year the damn phone go out? You know they they, they give you a two year contract on the phone because they know by halfway right, through right. year the first year they gonna get the uh, uh, Mal malfunction. Malfunction. <laughs> Going dead quick. I'm like, man, I, they told me let it go dead every day hey, they so the battery can recharge. They don't make electronics like they used to. They they only made to last for a year. Tops. <laughs> so that's why they keep coming out with, oh, the new 2019 series TVs coming out. Right. Because your 2018 is about to go out. Right. Mm -hmm. I thought that this was, was the this. newest one. Mm -hmm. I thought this the best one. Man, it's the best one we have ever made. <laughs> I'm still looking at the 2012 TV. It worked just fine. <laughs> 2018 going out in one year. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Hey, go back to the video. So that was the first miracle they tried to debunk. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, before you move on, uh, I was watching on YouTube. I, I needed to post it. But uh, Edomite swam to the bottom of the Red Sea and was finding all kind of Egyptian armor and everything. I, I'm going I'm to Damn. But they they uh put they pushed it down. Like he came up with like shields and spears and chariot wheels and all kind of stuff. But they was like, nah, we're not giving this no publicity. Cause that would in fact prove what happened in the Bible was was real. I, 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 I ain't, right? I'm surprised they ain't kill him like they did Arthur <laughs> Kessler. You know right, Arthur Kessler, right. the Edomite that, that wrote 13th tribe? Oh, they yeah, killed yeah. him. <laughs> oh, got it. Edomite said, Esau said, Don't you be out here revealing our secrets? <laughs> Who side you on, man? Bruh. Revealing our secrets. Hey, real quick, get 2 Kings. I want them to explain this one. Get 2 Kings chapter 2 and verse 9. Explain this one. You, you tried to explain Moses' the miracle that the Lord did by the hand of Moses. But I want you to explain this one. Did a fan emerge in this time too? <laughs> 2 Kings 2 and verse uh, 9. 2 Kings chapter 2 and verse 9. Bring it out. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee Go ahead. before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. So Elisha is asking his mentor, Elijah, whom he looked up to, let me get a double portion of the spirit that you have. When you die, let me just leave me that. You ain't got to leave me no riches, no gold, no nothing. Just let me get that wisdom that you got. Go ahead. And he said, thou hast asked a hard thing, nevertheless. If thou see me when I am taken from thee, Go ahead. it shall be so unto thee. Uh -huh. But if not, it shall not be so. Read. And it came to pass as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire. They go to chariot again. They go to chariot. The chariot always emerges when you see something uh, magnificent about to happen in the scriptures. The chariot is always seen to be around. Just like last week, Friday, Bishop showed the video of how over, oh, I think it was in the, the, the Australia. They had the, the chariot was going up as the, the time was counting down for the quote unquote new year. The chariots are always around when something about to go down. You understand? Go ahead. And horses of fire and parted them both asunder. Go ahead. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Wow. Go ahead. And Elisha saw it and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel. The chariot of Israel. Go ahead. And so, what chariot is that? That's that, that's that chariot that was in Exodus 14. It's the that's same right. one. 
You understand? Go ahead. And the horsemen thereof. Because that's why he said the chariot. He didn't say a chariot. He said the chariot. Specifics. Go ahead. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes uh -huh. and rent them in two pieces. Watch this. Go ahead. He took up also the mantle of Elijah. So he picked up Elijah's mantle, right? A mantle is basically like a, um, it's got a hood on it. Samuel used to wear it. Uh, Elijah used to wear it. It's like a, a cape with a hood on it. That makes sense? Go ahead. And he took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him. Go ahead. And went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. Go ahead. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell off, fell from him. And smote the waters and, and then, said, whoa, 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 what did he do with the mantle? Smote the waters uh -huh. and said, where is the Lord God of I Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted hither and thither, and Elisha went over. So I'm trying to figure out, did he have a fan? Damn, son, where'd you How find How you going to replicate this? This wasn't something that was done in four hours or all night, because the scripture did say in Exodus it took, it took all night. The Lord had it happen all night to open it. This one right here, all he did was smite Jordan one time with the mantle of Elijah. And it parted asunder immediately. You understand? Go ahead. Verse 15. And when the sons of the prophets, which were to view at Jericho, uh -huh. saw him, yep. they said, the spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha. They was like, man, he got Elijah's spirit on him. He got the spirit of Elijah on him. Go ahead. And they came to meet him. And bowed themselves to the ground before him. Why? Because there was a mighty man they looking at. That's right. This man just, I just, it ain't nobody seen this since Moses. So now he do this like this just with the, all he did was take the mantle. He didn't have no staff. He didn't have nothing. He took the mantle and smit it and parted the waters asunder. So I'm still trying to figure out science. How you explain that one? See, that's the thing about the Most High. The Most High leave precepts in the Bible. You can't get us one way. You try to come one way, we got scriptures coming from the backside, sneaking up on you. That's oh, wow. right. <laughs> Come back to the video. So watch the next miracle. The next miracle is going to be Noah's Ark. Go ahead. Oh, Simulation scientific. of a wind set down and a plot. That's all right. Just let it play on through. They discovered that an easterly wind blowing at 1,010 kilometers per hour for 12 hours would have pushed back the sea for four hours. And this would have given the Israelites enough time to cross. Nine. Noah's Ark. Noah built an ark big enough to hold two of every animal to protect them against the huge Pause flood. Based Seven clean animals. Right. Two unclean animals. That's a, that's a big misconception in the Christian church, and it's in the scriptures. Yeah, just go ahead and read it. You go ahead and read it. What is it, Genesis 7 and verse 1 and 2? Yes, sir. Read it. The book of Genesis chapter 7 and verse 1. Read it out. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens, the male and his female. And of beasts that are not clean, by two, the male and his female. You see that? The, cle the beasts that are clean by sevens, the beasts that are unclean by what? By two, the male and his female. The, the, so the unclean beasts but by two, right? So that would be your swine, bat. All these different type of animals like this. Um, give me another one. Ducks, horses, right. things of that nature, right? They wouldn't get on the boat, obviously. I mean, they wouldn't, they weren't getting on the boat at seven. They was getting on the boat as twos, okay? Um, go back to the video. Based on the animals around at that time, you would have saved around 35,000 species. The Bible states that the ark would have been 144 meters long. Scientists say that it's possible for a boat of this size to stay afloat with 70,000 animals on board. Carpenter John Webers spent three years and one and a half million dollars building a full-scale replica of Noah's Ark. <laughs> oh, the Ark is now a tourist attraction in the Netherlands, boasting two cinemas and a restaurant. Eight. Pause. The burning book. So, th this is the problem with Esau, right? They think that we don't read. And, of course, give me Psalm 111.10 real quick. So, they they saying that the boat was 144 meters long. Now, if you do that in measurement of what we know meters today, it, they could probably come up with the measurement. But they wasn't our size back then. That's the problem. They won 5'10", 6'8". They weren't even my height. They was bigger than me back then. These weren't small men. Right? They was living until they were 900 years old. 
They were not weak. That's the that's the problem with them. They think they want you to believe that this little skinny Edomite man with a long beard, he up there, mm, 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 hammering them um, right. planks. Right. You understand? Yeah, they and go for wood. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I, I, go ahead. No, nah, I was just finna say that in that movie they came out with, they had it where he was doing it and he's uh, rock monsters They talking about The fallen angels Was helping them too Oh god that I do remember that folk crazy, I do remember that Get that real quick Psalm chapter 111 And verse 10 the, the fear of the Lord Is the beginning of wisdom A good understanding Have all they That do his commandments Brothers and sisters When you keep God's commandments You're going to have An understanding It's the problem This is why you'll see Other Israelite camps Try to come against us With stupidity Christians try to come against us with stupidity. Islam, everybody try to come against the Israelites, especially when they see the all on the street. They gonna try their luck. They think that they gonna be the ones that's gonna come up and confound us. Hell no! And it has yet to happen because our leadership, the Lord has given uh, understanding to our leadership that is all about God's law. When you go against God's commandments, that's why you don't understand nothing. Right now, Esau, we know he is the biggest sinner on the planet Earth. Remember Malcolm That's X said right. that in that movie? He the big, I, I charge the white man with being the biggest swine eater on earth. I charge <laughs> the white man with being the biggest robber on earth, the biggest liar on earth. And he was, he was going in. You can't deny the charges. He went in. Go watch that Smike, the Spike Lee movie when he did Malcolm X. I think it's called Malcolm X. That's straight up. Go watch it. He went in to show you that. So the biggest sinner on the planet not going to teach you about God's word and be able to teach it accurately, accurately, right? So let's go to uh, Genesis real quick, chapter 5, the very last verse. I think it's verse 32. Let me get my other Bible. The book of Genesis, chapter 5, and verse 32. And Noah was 500 years old. How old was Noah? 500 years old. How many of your granddaddies and grandmoms done lived that long? <laughs> so how are we going to think these regular men? I don't see how you're going to get that in your mind to think they regular when they was at the beginning. You understand? 500 years old. Go ahead. And Noah begot Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Go ahead. And it came to pass, chapter 6, yes, and sir. verse 1. Keep reading. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth. What the word say? When what? When men keep began. That in, keep that in mind. Context. When men began to multiply on the earth. Go ahead. And daughters were born unto them. Go ahead. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men. That they were fair. Uh -huh. And they took them wives of all which they chose. Go ahead. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man. Showing you that the sons of God were who? Men. They were men too, but we was from a special lineage. I said we. We was from a special lineage. The sons of Adam specifically. You understand? Go ahead. For he for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be 120 years. So the Lord cut the years down. You don't never see nobody live to 120 years old. That's done. It's finished. Hell, you, uh, it's another scripture in Psalms said we barely make it to 70. And if we hit 80, that's a blessing. Because it's too much evil. GMO fools, the wicked rule the earth right now. But on a good diet, keeping God's commandments, there's a possibility some of us could probably reach 120 if that was the Lord's will. That's because right. Because the scriptures say you're not passing 120. The Lord cut it off right there. That's why you don't see people living that long today. Right? Did you read verse 4? No, sir. Read that. Verse 4. There were giants in the earth in those days. You hear this? There were giants on the earth in those days. This is why they can't explain why well, he was able to build that whole big old long boat. You understand? In 100 years, because it took him 100 years to do it. When you read chapter 7, it gives you the precept of how long it took. You understand? It took him 100 years to build that. So when he was, at, he was 500, by the time he built it, he was how old? 600. I think that's what the accurate numbers is. Go ahead. We finish verse 4, read it again. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. So these was powerful men that was on the planet earth. These weren't regular, regular dudes that you see walking around here now. You know how you be seeing them big bodybuilders in L.A.? They be doing, the, or, or in New York, they be on the street corners doing the pull-ups and stuff. You be like, damn, that dude right there, cut up. Now, they was way bigger and stronger back then. This is how you know. Go to Second Andrew chapter 5. What you got? Go ahead. I just want to give a scripture when you get there. Go ahead. What you got? Go ahead. Uh, read Judges 10 and 48. Judges 10 verse 48. To, to, to turn it back on the point that officer was making that our forefathers was huge. 
they 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 was we're nothing in comparison to their size. Read what you got. Judges 10, verse 48. Read that for when you get it. Seven seconds, brother. Give me a script. Seven second page flip. Somebody say that in a song. What the hell it is. Judges chapter nine, verse 48. I'm man, sorry. if you don't yeah. get that, no hell no. Nah, you pull your scripture. Bad. Take that brother's scripture. Give me second edit five, man. The hell it is. Give me second Bruh, edit five. We taking I'm his script time. Like it's only so it's only eighteen. We taking his script time. What the hell it is. Now I'm just messing with you pulling his script. He gonna be offended after the show. <laughs> he gonna Matthew 18 me after the show because he couldn't get his scripture. <laughs> It's the end of the period, bro. Go ahead. Read Judges 9 and 48 for that I'm brother, sorry. please. Judges chapter 9 and verse 48. <laughs> Just to give you a, another idea on how, how big and strong our forefathers was, read that. <laughs> and Abimelech got him up to Mount Zaman, he and all the people that were with him. So these are all the, this is a group of people, read. And Abimelech took an axe in his hand and cut down a bow from the trees. Can you look up that word, bow, for me? Can, can you do that? Read. And took it and laid it on his shoulder and said unto the people that were with him, uh -huh. what ye have seen me do? Make haste and do as I have done. So he told them the same thing you see me do, you do the same thing that I just did. So watch this. Can we pull up the definition? P read too. Read on. Verse 49. And all the people likewise cut down every man his bow uh -huh. and followed Abimelech and put them to the hole and set the hole on fire upon them. So that all the men of the tower of Shechem died also, about a thousand men and women. So you see that? So look up that word, Bo. Yeah, Can you read that, that for me, Zariah? Yeah, yes, Bo, a main branch of a tree. So every man, just how strong they were. That's right. They not not a twig. Say they got the main branch of a tree. You know how big a branch of a tree is. Right, right. That thing is huge. The and they, main one. Right, the main yeah, a main yeah. branch of a tree. And they put it on their shoulder and, and carried it. Right, the main one in the middle. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's the main one. Right. And the branches is what's on the side, but the, you cut the branches off and, and take the main one. That's that's the main one. Right, but then you again, the whole tree. but then again, yet yeah, you got Esau. With the world's strongest man competition, they picking up stones. Now they picking up woods, putting them over their shoulder, over their head, trying to replicate what was done back then. You can't do it. That's right. Pick up that tree over there. Right. That's right. <laughs> hey, Bruh. real quick, give me um the book of Numbers chapter thirteen and read verse twenty three and twenty four together. Yeah, that's heavy. What you just brought out, also showing you that our brothers and so our brothers mainly, and our sisters too, the women were stronger too, right? We were stronger, bigger, more powerful, right? That's right. Go ahead. Numbers chapter 13 and verse 23. And they came unto the brook of Eshcol and cut down from this Go a, ahead. a branch with one cluster of grapes. So this, this branch had one cluster of grapes. Go ahead. And they buried between two upon a staff. Wait a minute. And two men. Now, these men were before the men in the book of Judges. <laughs> you understand what we're trying to say? These were some strong brothers. And yet it took two of them to take a branch with one cluster of grapes. You know how big those grapes had to be? Mm. How heavy they were? Like watermelons. Just, just, right. Just Bigger than that. Them, one of them had to be crazy. One, one of them had just one, one of them. You talking about the whole cluster, them grapes had to be huge. Something you couldn't even fathom. Right? Go ahead. And they brought of the pomegranates and of the figs. Go ahead. The place was called the Brook of Eshcol because of the cluster of grapes, which the children of Israel cut down from thence. So this, these cluster of grapes were so big. Now, this was, if I ain't mistaken, this was the land of the, the sons of Anak. Skip down to verse 33. Verse 33. 32. 32. 32. Uh, no, read verse 32, 33. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Verse 30. Watch this. And Caleb stealed the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people. Go ahead. For they are stronger than we. Because they stronger than us. Go ahead. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched. Read. Unto the children of Israel, saying, the land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof. Go ahead. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. So these men were big, huge brothers. You understand? Huge. The, the sons of Anak. Watch this. Go ahead. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak. So when they looked over the hill, they said, man, these dudes big. That's why them grapes were so big. Because <laughs> the people that was eating hands was huge. Right, right. 
Go ahead. <laughs> which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. That's the problem. We have not been taught the truth. Right. Now get the one I said in 2nd Ezra chapter 5 for me real quick. 2nd Ezra chapter 5 started verse 51. Second Ezra chapter 5 and verse 51. Watch this. He answered me and said, Ask a woman that bear children, and she shall tell thee. Say unto her, Wherefore art not they whom thou hast now brought forth like those that were before? So you ask a woman, like I give you an example. You have a sister that's in her early 20s, in, in, in the height of her, maybe her athletic, you know what I'm saying, stature. The, the children that are born when she's in her 20s, and she works out all the time, she, she, she conditions her body all the time, that first child is going to be stronger than the child she has closer to her 40s if, if she continues to have children, right? As she gets older, her body gets weaker. Of course, she's not going to bring forth the, the type of children she's going to bring forth at the beginning. It's the same thing with the earth, right? Read it again. Say unto her, Wherefore art not they whom thou hast now brought forth like those that were before, but less of stature? Go ahead. And she shall answer thee, they that be born in the strength of youth are of one fashion, and they that are born in the time of age, when the womb faileth, are otherwise. So I'll give you an example. How many of you have ever gone back to your high school to maybe watch a sports game or go see your little brother graduate or something? You say, damn, these kids little as hell. That dude in the 12th grade? <laughs> yep. That dude about to graduate high school, he little as hell. <laughs> right or wrong? All the kids Every soft. generation seems like the kids getting smaller and shorter. You understand? It's always that diamond in the rough that grow out of, you know what I'm saying? But most of the time, the, the kids get smaller and smaller every generation. I used to always tell, this is a sports thing, but I used to always tell my, my father, I was like, look, if I played right now, if my team played right now, we win the state championship every year, these little dudes little as hell. <laughs> <laughs> you, because every generation, the world produces smaller people, smaller children. That's what the Bible said. They're not as great stature as those that came before. This is why Noah, at 500, 600 years old, he and his sons able to build an ark so grand, and the meter that they're talking about, or the cubits that they're talking about, are not the same size cubits as during his time. Right. Message. You understand? The measuring is going to be different. You're not going to measure an inch or a foot. Like, now we measure square footage and stuff, right? You, you measure by the inches, you get your square foot. This, the, the whip times the height, so on and so forth, the whip time, the length, whatever, right? But now, but back then, we, didn't, we don't know they measuring back then. We don't know how they measured. So we read 17 cubits or 150 cubits. Man, that might be 1,000 feet, 2,000, 3,000 feet. We don't know. You understand? But we know they was bigger back then. So when they try to do a replica of the ark, it was way more, it was way more massive than what they can ever replicate. He ain't got enough money right? to do that. You understand? Right. Go ahead. You, you want to read verse 54 too? You, yeah, read 54 and 55 real quick. Verse 54. Consider thou therefore also how that ye are less of stature than those that were before you. Go ahead. And so are they that come after you. See that? The kids that come after you, the children that are born after you, they are also what? Less than ye. Less than ye. Smaller than you. This is why every generation the children get what? Smaller and smaller. Go ahead. You finished it? As the creatures which now begin to be old. And it passed over the strength of you. Strength of you. Now, one more on that particular topic. Give me Revelation 21, 17, real quick. Hey, you know Go what ahead. that remind me of? Also, uh, like these superhero movies they come out with. Like right. the Hulk. Right. Like you see things like that in the movie where he pick up a tree. That's They get that out of the Bible. Mm. That's what we just read. That's right. And that's, you know, just an uh, image that you can you can have when you read in the scriptures. That's how the scriptures come to life. Right. So I'll praise him. That's right. Watch this. Revelation chapter 21 in verse 17. Right. Somebody made a good point. Mike Andrews on YouTube said, because that's what a cubit is. A cubit is supposed to be from the elbow to the tip of your finger, right? right that's supposed right. to be a cubit, right? But if they was giants. Right. 15 feet one tall. Arm, right. <laughs> his his uh, length from the elbow to his tip is like almost the size of my whole arm. Right. On my leg. Right. You don't know. Bigger, brother, bigger, bigger people. Bigger people. You got that real quick? Yes, sir. Read it. Revelation 21, verse 17. And he measured the wall thereof in hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. You hear that? That is of the angel. We know how big God's angels are and how big they can be. You understand? They can take on any form. But in a form that John saw, I'm pretty sure he was massive. You understand? 
So if that's a cubit, they measure by the cubit of an angel at that particular time, the kingdom of heaven. They weren't measuring by the cubit of what a man is. Are you 5'10", 5, 5, no, I tell you, you 5'8". Right. <laughs> but you're talking about, yeah, man, I remember Noah. Noah, Apollo on my height. Bro, sit no. down, bro. Okay? Hell hey, you know what this is saying? The Egyptians was tall people, right? But you got all these Negroes in the hood, 5'1", talking about they ancient Egyptian. Negro, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> they, they feet was taller and <laughs> longer than you. What the hell it is? <laughs> wrong with you? <laughs> wrong with y'all? <laughs> you niggas are crazy. <laughs> niggas are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay. hey, go back to the video real quick. They're going to go over the burning bush. Let's go into that one real quick. So as you can see, the Bible debunks science easily. Very easily. Let's look at That's the burning bush. Right. Let's look at the burning bush real quick. Bush. In the book of Exodus, a bush spontaneously combusts before Moses and speaks to him as the voice of God. Physicist Colin oh God, Humphreys of Cambridge of University images. speculates so that the bush, most likely an acacia bush, happened to be growing over a volcanic vent, which caused it to burst into <laughs> flames due to escaping heat. What? Psychology professor Benny Shannon believes that the voice of God heard by Moses was the result of him taking a local hallucinogenic substance. Whoa, 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 Paul, 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 Paul. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, you saying Moses, they saying Moses were high. Damn. You know what fool came to the camp? He said that. He said that. You were teaching one. This brother was teaching a, a Negro. Came to the camp and said the burning bush was a weed plant. Damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> Foolish. <laughs> Foolish. Hey, so, so he was so high that he heard a voice tell him to take a staff, go back into Egypt where he ran from from killing right, somebody, right. face the Pharaoh, and save a whole pretty bunch of people. That must have been some good weed. That thing had, that thing had, that thing had Moses messed up for 40 years. Moses went, in, Moses went in at 80. He came out at 120. He done lived a neck, another 40 years off this weed. But where is that now? <laughs> hey, I'm trying, where did weed at now? They got Negroes living an extra 40 years. Man, these people crazy. <laughs> Who raised you? They eat them like crazy as hell. They said, they said Moses, first of all, the reason that the bush was burning because it was on a volcano. So Moses done walked up on a volcano. He ain't fit. His feet didn't burn. Bruh. Nothing. With, with vents that shoot out uh, volcanic lava. gas <laughs> and lava. Lava ain't he let nothing make it. He tiptoeing right. on that junk. Man, you don't get the hell out of here. Watch that lava stream right there. <laughs> this is crazy. What you about to say, also, Zan? You had the mic. What you about to say? Man, these Negro <laughs> crazy. You know that eat my, You know that Negro got that from Esau? That come from the white man. Ain't none of us ever thought of, yeah, it was probably this type of plant. And, my, and shoot, the reason he heard the voice of God, he was high. Right. Man, get out of here, man. He smelled the fumes from the bush. Right, and that, and that had him hallucinate. And so he thought he heard God tell him to go into Egypt and save millions of people. Wow. Right. He's, man, I'm telling you, he saw you speculating, man. Spe oh, with well, this type of plant grow there now, so that means it must have been that in. Get, get Exodus 3 and 1. Oh, you there? Nope. Get Exodus 3 and 1 for your boy. Hey. Man, see, he got high off the burning bush. Lord have mercy. I done heard it all. Y'all said a Negro candy camp spewing out the same rhetoric. Madness. Wow. He probably watched this video. Yeah, he watched this video. Yeah, see, man, you know, they were really, most were really high. So that made the Bible not true. Well, why are we going to your slave ship then? <laughs> if you can't explain that, get out of my face. Read <laughs> Exodus 3 and 1. Exodus chapter, <laughs> chapter 3 <laughs> and verse 1. Excuse Bring me. It out. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert. And came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. Which got a volcano in it, uh, supposedly. Go ahead. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. Uh-huh. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Go ahead. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. Why this bush, is, why this bush not burning? Because of a volcanic eruption happened. Moses dead, them sheep dead, and that plant is, have you ever seen, can we pull up a volcanic eruption? Can we just pull it up for me so I can see it because Esau think we stupid. If any trees around, hell, if any people around, have you seen lava? It's like black, like tar, right, right. but it's fire cold. When it open up, you see fire coals under it. 
pull up a volcanic eruption. Let's see if Moses and, 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 the, and the bush, if the bush would still be there from the volcanic eruption. And would he even be able to be close to it? Right, because they, like, they, um, they say when lava dry out, it make islands. Like that's what, yes. how Hawaii was made. That's right. literally right. lava. So what an island that, that Moses was on. It should have uh -oh. been something else over there. Uh-oh. Right? Uh -oh. Bring oh. it out. All right. Show me a volcano. Well, here's our list of the top five volcano eruptions caught on camera. Look at this. At number five, we have Mexico's Popocatepetl volcano, which you see erupted all the smoke in from 2013. That? Popocatepetl erupts every few years. Do you see all the smoke from that? How you to stay see? Well clear how you breathe? How you, you wouldn't even have right, a chance to get right. to the fire with all that. Right. But that'll kill you. Right. Is it about to show it? To, about to show it again? Last year, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Lake erupted in Japan, which covered nearby towns in ash and dust for weeks. Wait, pause. Luckily, pause. 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 <laughs> The nearby towns was covered with ash and debris and fire and smoke for weeks. So I'm trying to figure out how the hell Moses standing right next to it. He's so high, he just standing there and watch the... <laughs> Come on, man. Bruh. Stop believing white people, okay? Right. <laughs> I just got to say it plain like that. Stop believing white folk. Don't listen to white folk. They lie, right. okay? They don't lie about everything. Right. Stop right. believing them, niggers. There is powerful niggardry at work. Here. Yes. Read again. <laughs> three verse five. Exodus chapter three and verse five. And he said, draw not nigh hither. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet. So he took his shoes off while he had while volcanic eruptions going on. It's fire coals on the <laughs> ground, but he take his shoes off. Bruh. Huh? Moses has some, uh, <laughs> Moses has some strong foots. No, you, you, y'all ever seen that episode of Dave Chappelle when they had the Fear Factor oh, and yeah, Tyrone yeah. Biggums? He, you know, the, the crack oh yeah, the crackhead. Yeah, he, he, he pulled off his shoes and started walking across the cold. Damn, right, right. trying hey. to get that money. He, he wanted to buy that he crack. Got a cigarette off his toe. <laughs> right. They trying to say that Moses. Ain't no way, man. Come on, man. Stop believing. Dollars, listen, man. stop believing white people. Dang. Okay, I'm sorry. Stop believing Edomites. The liars. Okay. Read verse five again. And he said, <laughs> "I like that one." <laughs> And Wait he again. said, draw not now, draw not nigh hither. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. He said, the place whereon thou standest is what? Holy ground. No, a volcano. Right. Holy ground. Why would God tell this brother to take his shoes off near a volcano eruption? Bruh. I mean, we just got to use, just read. Can we just read? My goodness. Keep reading. Verse 6. Moreover, he said. I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Go ahead. And Moses hid his face, but he was afraid to look upon God. Read. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. So the Lord came to Moses this way, you understand, to show him, hey, look, I got, a, I got a mission for you. So listen, black folks don't believe nothing unless you can see it for yourself. He had to see this phenomenon for himself. Now, who was that? Get that Joshua chapter 5 real quick. No. Get um Acts 7 and 30, verse 30 real quick. Acts 7, 30 through 33 real quick. The book of Acts chapter 7 and verse 30. Read that. And when 40 years were expired, they appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai, an angel of the Lord in a flame of fire in a bush. Go ahead. When Moses saw it, he wondered at the sight. And as he drew near to behold it. No, he didn't get close to it because it was a volcano eruption. And as he drew near to behold it, the voice of the Lord came unto him, saying, I am the God of thy fathers, the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Then Moses trembled and durst not behold. Go ahead. Then said the Lord to him, Put off thy shoes Wait, from hold, thy hold. feet. Then said who to him? The Lord to him. Go Put ahead. off thy shoes from thy feet. For the place where thou standest is holy ground. Joshua 5, verse 13. Joshua chapter 5 and verse 13. The book of Joshua chapter 5 and verse 13. Who is this Lord that spoke to him? Go ahead. Bring and it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked and behold. There stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversaries? So Joshua was a bad man. He said this dude with a sword out. <laughs> he got a sword in his hand, like ready to go to war. He the captain of the Lord's host. Joshua said, hey, bro, who you with? 
<laughs> you with us or you with the enemy? Go ahead. And he said, nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord. He, he said, I'm the captain of the host of the Lord. This is who you talking to right now. Go ahead. Am I now come? Greed. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth. Go ahead. And did worship. Greed. And said unto him, what saith my Lord unto his servant? Go ahead. And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, loose thy shoe from off thy foot. For the place where thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. That same angel, that same captain of the Lord's host was the angel in the burning bush. The same one that was dealing with Moses. There wasn't no hallucinogen. No, what they call it? Hallucinogen. What the hell you say? Hallucinogen. Yeah. yeah, that's it. You know, I got public school education. Hallucinogen. <laughs> <laughs> that's what no, he wasn't high. That's the Lord appearing to him. You understand? Now, who is the captain of the Lord's host? You know what I want? Hebrews 2 and 10? Who that be? Read that real quick. That's why they try. I'm telling you, they don't want you to believe this Bible. They don't want you to have faith in this Bible. You understand? This is why they go out of their way to debunk it. Because if they can debunk the miracles in the Bible, that's why they go for the deeper things. Because if they can get you confused on that, then you you won't believe Romans 9 13. Jacob, have I love Esau, have I hate it. Right. You won't think God hated a person. Right. You wouldn't think that uh, Babylon the Great was America. You wouldn't think none of that because you you stumbling over this. Stuff that you don't even need to know nothing about. The only reason we're going over it is because Esau trying to debunk the Bible with it. And we're showing you that the Bible stands true. You understand? Go ahead. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 10. For it became him. For whom are all things, and by whom are all things. Go ahead. And bringing many sons unto glory. Go ahead. To make the captain of thy salvation perfect through suffering. Wait a minute. Who is the? Wait, read that again. For it became him. For whom are all things, and by whom are all things. And bringing many sons unto glory. To make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. Who is the captain of our salvation made perfect through sufferings? Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Good. That's the captains of the Lord host. He the leader of God's army. That's right. That's you understand? Right. But these brothers want to go and the bees down. Eden might want to go in there to my no, no. It, 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 it didn't really happen like right. that. Moses was high. <laughs> Can't get the scripture off. Yeah, go you ahead. You probably finna pull it. No, vault. I ain't finna pull it. No. Go ahead. Uh, get Psalms vault. 58. Right. The hell? Psalms 58 and 3. You simple. Because <laughs> officer mentioned something. He He's said. So simple as hell, man. <laughs> we both believe that crap. Go said, ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. He said, don't listen to white folks. Right. Somebody might be online and be upset that you said that. We should listen to everybody, right? No. Well, let's see what God got to say about that. Get Psalm 58 and verse 3. Book of Psalm, chapter 58 and verse 3. Bring if I'm going to listen to anybody, it definitely ain't going to be who this scripture talking about. Read that. <laughs> the wicked are estranged from the womb. It said the wicked are estranged from the womb. We know according to the scriptures that the wicked is the so-called white man or what the bible calls what god calls the edomite edomite esau okay read it again the wicked are strange from the womb uh -huh. they go astray as soon as they be born what they do when the when the edomite baby pop out the womb the first thing he do is what speaking lies you mean to tell me soon the baby cry soon they pop him and he start hollering he telling lies Dang. straight from that point so you really expect these people to tell you the truth about a book that's about you, like the officer been bringing out. Mm. They gonna lie about everything to get you to stray away from your true power, right? Your That's strength, right? You understand that? So yeah, don't listen to white folk. <laughs> Edomites, according to the Bible, right? Uh, yeah. Let's go to First uh, Timothy six and verse twenty. So now that we've debunked that, that has been destroyed. Just get that off the screen. <laughs> uh, we are gonna move on to Scientology. Okay, and science in general, right? So let's get that real quick. First Sim Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. Let's see what the forefather Paul told our forefather Timothy, right? The book of First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 20. Bring it out. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. What was committed to, to Timothy's trust? Hold your finger there. Get 2 Timothy chapter 3, and let's read verse uh, 15. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 15. Bring it out. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures. What was committed to Timothy's trust? And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures. That's why, the, that's why Paul said, look, man, just keep that which is committed to your trust. The holy scriptures, what you done learned since you was a child. Go ahead. Which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Because that's the important thing for us to be, be able to be wise unto salvation. We want the wisdom so we can survive, so we can be able to re reach that eternal life that the Lord got set for us. That's what our goal is. That's why I go back to 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 20 again. 
First Timothy 6 and 20. Bring oh, up. Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called. Wait a second. What was that old word? Oppositions of science falsely so called. Science is set up to go in opposition to the word of God. Right. The word of God say a man is born a man, a woman born a woman. A woman. The opposition of science says, no, I can make him a woman. I can make her a man. I can change their body. I can do all that. I can give them certain medicines to give him hormones, to make him grow breasts. Or what they call estrogen. Is that it? Estrogen. Yes, yeah, yeah. I can give her testosterone to make her breasts flatten out and all that stuff, make her more manly, strong. You understand? That's why you, cause you see some sisters, they be in that, like the, the bodybuilding women and stuff like that. Like, what you think they doing to make their body develop like that? To be cut up like a man. It's a lot of testosterone that they take and steroids that they're taking. It's because a woman's body is naturally the way that it is. And they go against that. I remember one time, I think I was like 14. And it's this big old Edomite woman walking down the hallway at my hotel. I was on, I was, <laughs> we was on a little AAU trip. I was in Dallas, Texas. I'll never forget it. <laughs> and she was telling, she was telling her, we, well, you young men. So we're like, man, how much you, how much you been? She's like, yeah. I'm up with like 225. I'm like, man, Bruh. what the hell? She starts sounding like Debo. Yes, <laughs> man, we don't get your ass. I told my boss, man, let's get up out of here, man. She trying to beat us up, man. We oh, kids, yeah. we 13. Oh, she walking down that movie. I'm talking about like this. You seen, uh, y'all seen, um, what's the movie? Terminator. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Terminator. <laughs> no, Moto Moto. You know my boy? Oh, yeah. Oh, on, yeah. Uh, on Madagascar. I remember how he walked up out the pool like that? That's how she walked about it. She walked about the room. I said, damn, how much you bitch? Bruh. Yeah, I warm up with like 225 on a good day. I'm at a 350. I'm like, 350? Ain't no way no woman's supposed to be bench pressing 350. I'm sorry. I just, what you think? I, right, that's right, what I'm saying. Right, get you in a headlock. Right. <laughs> I don't need that. You stay away from me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> stay your ass away from me. I'm good. You understand? Hey, uh, what I wanted. Uh, pull up the vi uh, that video, What is Scientology? It's like one minute and 41 seconds. And while he getting that, read Daniel 725. So you saw right here where it said that um, that it, that Paul wrote to Timothy to keep that which is committed to thy trust, right? And opposition, avoid oppositions of science, falsely so called, because science is set up to go against the word of God. Because if they can get you, if they can somehow go into the miracles and the different things that happen in the Bible and debunk that, maybe you'll steer away from Deuteronomy 28. Maybe you'll steer away from loving your neighbor as yourself. Therefore, they can keep this system going and keep us oppressed, right? Go ahead. Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. The he here is Babylon, America. You understand? Because early in verse 14, it told you how he subdued three kings. That's the Spanish-American, what is it? No, excuse me. Yeah, Spanish-American War, the French-American War, and the American Revolutionary War, right? When, when, great, when, when America got the War of Independence from Great Britain, correct? So those are three kings when you read in verse 24. So now you get to verse 25 when it says, and he, the he is the one that beat, that destroyed or defeated those three kings, right? Which is America. Now keep reading. He shall speak great words against the most high and shall wear out the saints of the most high and think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into the hand, into his hand until the time and times and the dividing of time. So it said he shall speak great words against the most high. Get that real quick in um the Scientology video. He gonna speak great words against the most high. Scientology is probably the most successful new American religion of the last hundred years, and it is spread through every corner of the world. The 1950s were a time of enormous anxiety for Americans. We were talking about space travel and alien worlds. We were starting to get to know how the mind works for the very first time. All of these things fed into Hubbard's imagination as he began to create Scientology as a religious movement. Here are three things that Scientologists believe. Number one, that we are all eternal souls trapped within bodies and that we've had multiple bodies over many, many lifetimes. Number two, in each of these lifetimes, we have gathered trauma, whether we're aware of it or not. And number three, the way to get rid of these traumas, to clear yourself of them, is through the process called auditing, a kind of technological exposure therapy. What is it that you have your attention on a lot? 
Through a series of courses and crazy. auditings, you become more and more aware of your true nature. You have more and more control over yourself and your world until you reach a kind of godlike status. People who are familiar with Scientology are mostly familiar with the scandal, the control that the leaders of Scientology have over the lives of many of its members. Scientology is at a crossroads in its history. If the church can learn to give up some of that control in a hundred years from now, it might be one of the great religions of the world. All right. So they went through a list of things, right? So the first thing, um, what was his name again? L. Ron Hubbard. One of, the, one of the things L. Ron Hubbard tried to display within Scientology was that we are eternal uh, souls entrapped in a body right eternal souls entrapped in a body and that we've lived multiple times okay so before we even deal with any of that let's see where the fountain of wisdom come from give me baruch 3 and verse 34 i mean 35 excuse me 35 and 36 because a lot of times you'll hear these things and they'll sound crazy to you you'll be like what what is what is all that Right? What is he talking about? That's 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 craziness. Now, this is a a, a, a doctrine of devils. It's an evil religion, but everything I'm telling you, everything that he got, he got from the Bible. Right? Even the things that he's in, even the things that he's correct on or thinks he's correct on, it still come from the scriptures. Right? Even that's though right. Even though he's butchering it. Right? Read what you got. Baruch chapter three and verse thirty-five. Bring it out. This is our God, and there shall none other be accounted of in comparison of him. So there is no idol. No God that you can think of or fathom in your mind that is in comparison to the God of Israel. None. Okay? He is the God. The other gods are idols. Read. That's he has right. found out all the way of knowledge. And guess what? He found out all the way of knowledge. All wisdom and knowledge comes from the God of Israel. Read. And have given it unto Jacob his servant. And he has given that knowledge to the Israelites. Jacob his servant. Go ahead. And to Israel his beloved. And he loved Israel. That's why he gave us this knowledge. Now go from there. Go to Sirach chapter 19 verse 19. Sirach chapter 19. Let's read verse 19. Sirach so chapter 19 and verse 19. Go ahead. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord. Wait a minute. It always go back to God's commandments. Read it again. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord. The knowledge of God's commandments. Read. It's the doctrine of life. It's the doctrine of life. Read. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Remember earlier it said that L. Ron Hubbard, one of his things is saying through auditing, right? They go through the auditing, which is like this techno technological um, frequencies that they do. That's why he was holding those two um, canisters or whatever. They got the, the, the plugs. You know, you've probably seen them when you do like science fiction and stuff like that back in the day. They got them thing that send electrodes back and forth. Now we know that electrical frequencies, they, they bother your head. That's why sometimes you watch TV too long or you be on your phone too long, you listen to earphones too long, your head start to ache, it start to hurt, right? Because of radiation and electrical frequencies and stuff like that. So he's saying that by using that type of um, testing, while also being asked about the trauma and things that are going on in your life, somehow you can purge all that out of you, learn yourself, and become immortal. But the Bible says, read that again, verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. So you got to do what please God to receive the the, tr the knowledge, or excuse me, the um, tree or the fruit of the tree of immortality. To live forever, you got to keep God's commandments. Do that which pleases him. This is what the scripture is right. talking about, right? Go ahead, though. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. You hear that? The fear of God is all wisdom. Within God's commandments is depths and depths of wisdom that you can't even fathom at this moment. Right, go ahead. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. If you keep God's laws, that's where all wisdom descends from. Go ahead. And the knowledge of his omnipotence. And you will know God's great power, the things that he has done, the things he's doing, and even some things that are even going on in the spiritual world. You know it from the scriptures. The scriptures tell you that. You understand? The scriptures tell you some of the deeper things that is going on in the Bible. Why people die. Where do we go when we die? You understand that? How people come back to life, or, if, or excuse me, the spirit that's in man regenerates and come back through uh, different bodies over time. The Bible tell you all that. But Esau, what they do is they make themselves seem as through science, they got some type of scientific, um, I don't know, 
what they call that, um, when, you, when you just have like these hypotheses, like theory. theory, theories, theory. and philosophies, and things like that, but it's all based on science. But God's word already told us all these things. Get that real quick in Sirach 21, 21 and 11. I'm going through these scriptures first to show you all wisdom come from God. So you won't be, de be deceived by the things you're hearing from Esau. Right? Go ahead. Sirach chapter 21, verse 11. Go ahead. If y'all also got something, jump in on this joint. Yes, sir. Go ahead. He that keepeth the law of the Lord, get it the understanding he, thereof. He that keepeth the law of the Lord is where the understanding come from. This is why we uh, constantly stress the commandments, the commandments, the commandments, the commandments. The deeper things in the Bible are not needful for salvation, right? To get you off drugs, to stop you from being homosexual, to stop you from being a murderer, a liar. God's word, the laws of God is what stops you from doing that. And in doing that, God reveals his secrets to you, right? So you won't be deceived by the masses. Can you read? And the perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. What did it say? And the perfection of the fear of the Lord is is wisdom. That's where wisdom lies, in the perfection of the fear of the Lord. Those three scriptures we just read are all pertaining to what? If you want wisdom, you want understanding, keep God's commandments. That's where it all descends from. Now, hey, from there. Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. If you want to pull it, I've wanted to get the scripture. Right yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go back to that first Timothy chapter six and verse twenty. Read that for our also, Shannon. Just want to point out something about the way way this scripture is worded. Read that for me. Book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6 and verse 20. Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, uh -huh. avoiding profane and vain babbling and opposition of science. Read that last part. And oppositions of science. Read. Falsely so-called. So you see that right there? It says, in oppositions of science, falsely so-called. What is God saying? Esau's science is not actually science. What they call science, the most have been doing that, like space travel. Right. As we've been reading, most have been doing that. Right. All, knowing how the sun worked, most have been showed us that That's in the right. scriptures. That's right. All these things, all, most have been gave you science in the Bible. So what it's saying, oppositions of science, falsely so-called, what these lies that Esau make up, that ain't science. That's foolishness. Hey, God even told you how the brain work. He said, out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts. Right. Your brain is continually evil. You always thinking about evil. They want to go into the power of the brain and all that stuff like that and how it can cause you to be thinking this way or thinking that way. That's called a strong right. delusion. All that come from your brain. Right. Esau got to cut you open or think he got to cut you open to right. figure stuff out. The wisdom are already here. The science are already in the scriptures for our people. Absolutely. And the proof is that when you read Daniel chapter 1, it said that they understood science. Mm -hmm. Our forefather Daniel and them understood science. Really what this science is, is witchcraft. It's sorcery is what it truly is. Right? Um, go back to, uh, go to Psalms 119 verse 18. Psalm 119 verse 18. So I'm going through, like I said, we're going through these scriptures to show you wisdom lies in the commandments. Wisdom lies in God's commandments. Not no technological advancement that Esau has come up with. Read you got. Psalm chapter 119 in verse 18. Read it out. Open thou mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Read it again. Open thou mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. King David said, open my eyes that I can see the wondrous things that's in your law. Because within God's laws is wonderful things. Deep things that you would never even realize. Oh, that's what they're saying. Oh, that's why God said don't do that. Like, for instance, homosexuality. Let's just use that for an example. The reason that all these crazy evil diseases are out here, all these ailments are out here, the reason Esau got to come up with medicines to try to prevent you from spreading the disease is because God told you not to do it. It's very simple. Even eating the swine, like we just don't know the Lord said, if it's cloven footed and it chew the cud, you understand, it's good. It's parsed hoof, cloven footed, chew the cud, it's good. You can eat it. So that's just what we can see on the physical. It ain't even going into the, the molecules and all the different things in the DNA of the pig. Right. Science show you that. You're like, damn, that thing is nasty. But God already told you, look for these three things. If it got three, these three things, it's lawful to eat. If it don't have these three things, don't eat it. He already told you how to be healthy. But you want to go to Esau's science to learn, oh, well, well, Esau, the white man said, as long as I get some mustard, some honey mustard. What they say? It's his mustard, I think. And you lick, you lick your, after you got a headache and you lick the honey mustard, they're going to make your head feel better. What the what? hell? Why we doing that? Why we still believe this? Or soak it, soak it in vinegar. That's right. Gonna, that's gonna clean the pig. Right, just right. cook it. That's, right, just right. Cook. That's what Chris Rock said on that uh, that stand up he did. Just cook the pig. Just burn it up. It'll be still. It's still. It's, it'll be good then. Shut up, Chris Rock. You're a comedian. You're not a, a, a scientist. You <laughs> damn crazy. Give me um Joe nineteen real quick, verse twenty five. 
So we want to deal with regeneration just real quick, real briefly, um, because they did mention that in the um, in um, what is I keep remembering his name. What's his name? Elron Hubbard. Hubbard. He mentioned that in his um, in his development of Scientology that his theory is that we are these beings trapped in a body and we've had many bodies over time and so on and so forth. So let's read that real quick in Job 19. Let's see where he got that from. Job chapter 19 and verse 25. For I know that my Redeemer liveth and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Mm -hmm. And though, my, though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. Wait a minute. That's red. Is that typed up wrong? Is that that's a typo? It says, and though after my skin worms destroy this body, so he in the grave. That body in particular is in the grave, correct? Yet in my flesh shall I see God. But yet in the last day he gonna stand on the earth and see God. Damn son, where'd you find this? Keep reading. Whom I shall see for myself. Whom I shall see for myself. So he said, yeah, it's gonna be me. It's gonna be Job. <laughs> you might not know who he is. Right. You might not know who he is. I might not know who he is. But Job is here. That what the scripture is saying. Read it again. Whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another. And it won't be another person. It'll be Job. Go ahead. Though my reins be consumed within me. Though I was once in the grave. So the spirit of Job is walking on the earth till this day. According to the scriptures. Now, just so somebody's head don't explode, get second edge of chapter 1 <laughs> and verse 35. Right? So it's on my head because people hear, you know, there's some deep stuff in the Bible. We understand that. But I just want to show you that the Bible has already said what these people are saying, what these Scientologists are trying to say, trying to go against God. Go ahead. First edge of chapter, second edge of, excuse me, chapter 1 and verse 35. Bring it out. Your houses will I give to a people that shall come. Which, ha which not having heard of me, yet shall believe me. To whom I have showed no signs, yet they shall do that I have commanded them. So we hadn't seen the Red Sea parted. We hadn't seen um, the chariots pick our brothers and sisters up and carry them to other parts. Like he picked up Habakkuk and took him to um, Daniel in the lion's den. We, we ain't seen none of that stuff. But we read the Bible. We believe what it say. We read Deuteronomy 28. We say, you know what? This is it right here. We the That's Israelites. right. You understand that? So it says, what What that bottom part said? To whom I have showed. Yet, to whom, to whom I have showed no signs. Yet, they shall do that I have commanded them. Mm -hmm. They have seen no prophets. Yet, they shall call their sins to remembrance and acknowledge them. They said, we ain't seen no prophets. So we hadn't seen Jeremiah, Isaiah, these men out teaching at that time when they was living. We hadn't seen that. But yet, we keep, we bringing our sins to remembrance and we keeping the commandments. Go ahead. I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness. And though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the thing that I say. Yet in spirit they believe the thing that I say. Go ahead. And now, brother, behold what glory, and see the people that cometh from the east, unto whom I will give for leaders. So it's people coming from the east, and the Lord going to give them leaders, right? Who is that? Abraham. Wait a minute. Didn't Abraham die before Idris? Go ahead. Isaac. Now, in Idris, the son of Levi, who is the son of Jacob, who is the son of Isaac. But yet Isaac is here in the last days. That's what the Bible is telling you. Go ahead. And Jacob. Jacob. Oseus. Oseus. That's Amos. Ho that's Hosea. Amos. Go ahead. And Micaiah. That's Micah. Joel. Uh -huh. Abdias. That's Obadiah. Go ahead. And Jonas. That's Jonah. Nahum. Nahum. And Habakkuk. That's Habakkuk. Zoph Zophaniah. That's Zephaniah. Agius, that's Haggai, Zachary, Zacharias, and Malachi, and Malachi, read, which is called also an angel of the Lord. Because that's what Malachi mean, an angel of the Lord. So these men are on the earth today. They lived at one time, but the only reason you don't know these things is get Ecclesiastes 1 and 11. Get that Bring real quick. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 11. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1. In verse 11. There's no remembrance of former things. Wait a minute. What did the Bible say? There is no remembrance of former things. So the reason you don't know who you were in your past life, none of that, is because God erases your memory. You don't remember who you were and what you was doing and why you was doing it. But you know how sometimes you have stuff called deja vu? You know how sometimes you be like, I know I've seen this before. Right. You understand? 
That explains it. Message. Read, it. Read it again. Neither shall there be any remembrance of the things that are to come. Uh huh. With those that shall come after. The those that shall come after. After. So it's a rev- it's a revolving it's a uh, not a revolving door it's a it's a it's like a circle. I seen a video. Uh, somebody posted a picture of regeneration. You saw that it was on on Facebook. It showed you as a child, middle you know mid age. Then it showed you old. Then you died. And the spirit come back. The spirit don't come back as that particular person in that particular body, but the spirit that's in that person comes from the Lord. You understand that? He sends the spirits back out in the earth. Now he mentioned that through auditing, you are able to be relieved or redeemed from the trauma from your past lives, right? Saying that that some of the things you did in the past, they affect you in your life today. Well, that's biblical. Get that in John 9 verse 1. Some things that happened to you in the past happen again. Read what you got. The book of John, chapter 9, and verse 1. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the key. This man was blind from his birth. Read. So he was born blind. Go ahead. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just read that again. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? You hear this? They asked Christ, who sinned, this man or his parents? Now, why would the disciples say something so that seems so crazy to us that a man could sin before he was ever born? It don't make no sense. Now, let's see if Christ said, y'all bugging. You do dudes crazy. You're high like <laughs> Moses was apparently Damn. by the bush. Bruh. Something wrong with you. These folks crazy, man. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Jesus answered. I can't believe they said that. <laughs> Moses was hallucinating because he didn't. Wow. Man, I'm sorry. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Wow. Moses was. The scripture says. I'm sorry. I got to go back to it. The scripture says that Moses was known in all the ways of the Egyptians. He had much wisdom. He wasn't no dummy that would just pick a leaf off of something and just smoke it. Right. right. <laughs> what you about to say? Go ahead. No, I was going to say uh, it was a group of people that traveled to South Africa, I mean South America, and they were looking for a frog that makes you hallucinate, but it was a South African frog, and they ended up licking the uh, South American frog, and they all died. Damn. Hey, you know right. they had that on the episode of Family Guy? What did uh, uh Meg and Chris, they had the frog at school. Oh, yeah. And when they lick it, they get all type of hallucinated. Damn, that's uh, crazy stuff. That's some Edomite stuff, right? <laughs> right. What the hell you Bruh, Edomite. You, you mentioned his knowledge. <laughs> like, he, he knew this. He right. knew. He right. knew the right. plants. He knew right. the terrain. He yeah, he, knew, yeah. he knew right. everything. He, like, wouldn't, he wouldn't do that. Because that, that, especially the plant that was mentioned, uh, they didn't say it, but they, they showed the caption on the bottom. It was called Ayahuasca. They had like a whole documentary. I don't know if y'all ever watched that, those Vice things where they talk about this different stuff people be doing. It's folks that go to some some remote place and they get this plant, that same plant that it mentioned, so they can hallucinate. They say some uh, some sister went there because her baby had died and all kind of stuff she went through and that she had. They did some with that plant and all that night she was having visions, seeing the baby. She said she seen it, talked to it, all kind of crazy stuff. Hey, ah! Edomite might said this, right? Please. Yeah. Okay. Cause sisters, y'all don't do no stuff like that. Now, sister, did, sister did it. She was the one did the experiment, but so Edomite she went to to help her do it. Right. Yeah. All praise him. He folk crazy. The hell is this? <laughs> Read again, nine to three, verse three. Jesus answered, "Neither has this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him." Now, why didn't Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the epitome of wisdom, the Word of God, why he didn't say, "Bro, what is you talking about, man"? <laughs> Why would you say this man sinned before he was born? You know you can't sin until you're alive. <laughs> because the brother has sinned. The brother could have sinned in his last life. You understand? Get that in Hebrew 9.27. So that's what they believe. They believe you have traumas from your last life. and that. Pop- but I'm telling you, he got that from the Bible. That ain't no science fiction. That ain't no scientific discovery. That's biblical. Right? Get that real quick. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. So when it say it's appointed unto men once to die, meaning spiritual death, meaning that lake of fire, when your soul burns in hell, right? Read it again. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, 
But after this, the judgment. Because sometimes when you come back, you get judged for something you did. Your, why you think children are born with like illnesses? Right. Right. Some stuff like you like, man, dang, like, yeah. why would God? Because because people say that people don't believe in the Bible because they see children born with ailments and things of that nature. And that's why the apostles were like, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born this way, Lord? Because he was born this. So they knew something in his past life caused him to have to be born that way. The apostles and the, and the brothers and sisters at that time had more wisdom than what we have been introduced to today. We just learning this. They just told him that. like They, they knew that there was regeneration. They knew that this thing was a real thing, right? But Esau tried to take it and adopt it for his own because he's the devil. Right? It was something that's that Scientology right. I wanted. Um, oh, he said that, they said that in Scientology that uh, you could reach God level. Didn't they say that? A level of immortality? Yeah, yeah, they said that. It was, another, it was another video I had posted, or that was posted, about Scientology. Pull up the one real quick. Uh, the one, uh... no, matter of fact, pull up that uh, Scientology controversy. It's a Wikipedia. Let's read this real quick. Watch this. Scientology controversies. Since its inception in 1954, the Church of Scientology has been involved in a number of controversies, including its, including its stance on psychiatry. Scientology's legitimacy, legitimacy as a religion, the church's aggressive attitude in dealing with its perceived enemies and critics, allegations of mistreatment of members. Hey, that part right there where it says when it's perceived, uh, this atti it's aggressive attitude in dealing with its perceived enemies and, and critics, if you speak out of anything that you did when you was around them, they go out of their way to kill you. There was a, it was a one where a lady said, the, uh, a lady had joined a, a group um, that basically is, is made to expose cults in America. Scientology made sure that they was bankrupt, took all the money from them, right? And then rebought it and instituted it into there. Now, now they the one. Now, Scientology is behind the ones that find out people that are in cults, wow. find out different cults. That's some, hell, that's some hell of a stuff right there, man. Go ahead. Allegations of mistreatment of members Read. and predatory financial practices. Predatory financial practices. Predatory. I heard that word before. I know somebody like that. Go ahead. For example... The high cost of religious training. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The high cost of a religious training. You got to pay these folks. <laughs> this is like the Christian church. You ain't getting the word for free. Dang. All right? Hell Go ahead. no. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. And perceive exploitative practices. Uh-huh. When mainstream media outlets have reported alleged abuses, representatives of the church have tended to deny such allegations. Keep going down. Go ahead. Secrecy. The church maintains strict control over the use of its symbols, names, and religious texts. Although U.S. intellectual property law allows for fair use of material for commentary, parody, educational purposes, etc., critics of the church, such as Gary Armstrong, have argued the church unfairly and illegally uses the legal system to suppress fair uses. These folks got so much power that they can stop you from being able to use fair uses. Bruh. That's some heavy stuff. You know how you be using stuff for fair use? It's a fair use. They, uh, Esau said, no, nah, shut that down. <laughs> right. That's some power right there. That show you that some of the elites of the world dealing with this. Right. This that spiritual wickedness in high places the Bible talking right. about. I'm telling That's you. Right. Go ahead. Including suppressing any mention of the space opera aspects of the religion, including the story of Zenu. Damn. Go ahead. One example critics cited in a, is a 1995 lawsuit against the Washington Post newspaper et al. The Religious Technology Center, the corporation controlling L. Ron Hubbard's copyrighted materials, go up, go up, slide up, sued, sued to prevent a Post reporter from describing church teachings at the center of another lawsuit, claiming copyright infringement, trade secret misappropriation, and the circulation of their advanced technology teachings would cause devastating, cataclysmic spiritual harm to those not prepared. Mm. Wow. In her judgment in favor of the Post, Judge Le Leone Brinkema noted, when the RTC first approached the court with its ex parte request for the seizure warrant and temporary restraining order, the dispute was presented as a straightforward one under copyright and trade secret law. 
However, the court is now convinced that the primary motivation of RTC in suing Lerma, DGS, and the Post is to stifle criticism of Scientology. So they don't want you criticized, nigga. Go ahead. In general, and to harass its critics. As the increasingly bitrolic rhetoric of its briefs and oral argument now demonstrates, the RTC appears far more concerned about criticism of Scientology than vindication of its secrets. Wow. Don't expose the lies of Scientology, nor criticize us as a whole. Right. These folks got billions and billions of dollars. That sounds like homosexuality. Right. Mm -hmm. All that stuff. Don't reveal none of that. Keep all that away. You keep all your criticism, everything away. That's the same thing the Bible talk about when it says spiritual wickedness in high places. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. These folk got some power, man, for real. Now, it mentioned about God level, right? Zechariah chapter 12, verse 8. Let's see who the God level for. Because Esau, one is met. That's what they're trying to say, that they're going to be on God level. All you got to do is be audited. All you got to do is believe Scientology. Spend millions and billions of dollars <laughs> to learn this. You, they say, I, I read another article where it said it's like a, it's like a never-ending spiral. It just go up and up and up. Well, even when you get to the top levels of Scientology, you find out that it's levels above the level that you're at. <laughs> and you you got to spend more money to get to that level. What? And they just keep it going. Yeah, straight, just like masonry. Mm -hmm. Just like masonry. Go ahead. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 8. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Go ahead. And he that is feeble among them. And he that is feeble among the Israelites. That'll be our brothers and sisters that are in wheelchairs, that are going through all kinds of sicknesses, cancer, all the evil stuff you see happening to our people, right? Read. At that day. On that day. In that day, when Christ returns and gives us our power, our spiritual power. Read. Shall be as David. What did the Bible say? And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. As King David, a mighty warrior. Watch this, though. Read. And the house of David shall be as God. You hear this? And the house of David shall be as God. That's spiritual power right there. Go ahead. As the angel of the Lord before them. As the angel of the Lord before them. Go from there. Go to Philippians 3. Read Philippians chapter 3, verse 21 real quick. Let's see if it's saying in the New Testament. That's the Old Testament. Ach. That's the Old Testament, my <laughs> brother. The New Testament says nothing of the wrath. Nothing of the latter. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you know I be trying to use them big old words. Don't even know what the hell they talking about. I was just, we just reading that article. They were using, I was like, why she had to use them words? Like, why she couldn't just right. say plain stuff? Right. <laughs> Ventrolic or whatever. I was like, what the hell is that? I don't know what the hell that is. For emphasis. <laughs> right. I got to go look it up. <laughs> Man, if you don't sit down, go ahead, read it. <laughs> read that. Philipp Philippians chapter 3 and verse 21. Watch this. Who shall change who shall change our vile so body. Read verse 20. I'm sorry. Verse 20. For our conversation is in heaven. Read. From whence also we look for the Savior. We look for the Savior, Jesus Christ, to come from heaven. Read. The Lord Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Wait a minute. That's some heavy stuff right there. That's beautiful right there. That's right. So the Lord said that he is going to fashion our vain vile body this this body right here that's corruptible that can die that can get sick that can get hurt that can get injured he gonna change this body to be just like his read that again who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body mm. according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself Ooh. <laughs> boy that's some power right there yeah Yes, man, sir. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's some power right there, man. Get First Corinthians fifteen, verse fifty-one. So that's only for the Israelites, right? That's only for the Israelites. That ain't for all nations. Okay, all nations not getting that type of power. If Esau got that power, he'll fight against God. Think mm -hmm. about it. He'll fight the Lord. He'll try to fight the Lord. He'll try to fight Christ. No. Read that. 1 Corinthians 15, 51. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 51. Read it Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. Go ahead. But we shall all be changed. We shall all be changed. So everybody not going to die before Christ returns. Some of us going to still be here. Right? 
But it said we all going to be changed, whether the dead in the grave and had to be resurrected or those that still living. Go ahead. In a moment. In a moment. In the twinkling of an eye. The twinkling of an eye. At the last trump. Read. For the trumpet shall sound. Uh huh. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Incorruptible. That's immortality right there. Go ahead. And we shall be changed. And we shall be changed. Read. For this corruptible must put on incorruption. This corruptible body got to put on incorruption. This weak, frail body got to go. The Lord got to change our bodies. That's only for the Israelites. Go ahead. And this mortal must put on immortality. Go ahead. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Death going to be swallowed up in victory. Meaning what? No more death for the Israelites. You understand? That's Israel right. The repentant Israelites that keep God's commandments, and endure to the end are going to live forever. That's what the Bible say, Ock. Yes, sir. Y'all have some y'all want to pull on that? Go ahead. Get oh, death. In. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Get it in. Y'all brother got some y'all want to pull on it? Go ahead. Y'all ain't got nothing? Go to Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 5. Yeah, I know my brother got some. <laughs> yeah, you mean. <laughs> Go ahead. 1 and 15. 1 and 15. The book of the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1. In verse 15, he is grievous unto us even to behold, but his life is not like other men's. You in Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 15? Oh, that's two. I'm sorry. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1 in verse 15. Uh -huh. For righteousness is immortal. So the commandments is what's going to make you immortal. That's Go right. to uh, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 23. The book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, and verse 23. Mm -hmm. For God created man to be immortal. God created the Israelites to be immortal. That's why he's saying uh, salvation is only for us. Right. The most, the most I got, Christ is going to make us immortal when he come back. Read it again. For God created man to be immortal uh -huh. and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Say what? Read that part again. And made him to be an image of his own eternity. We going we gonna to be the gods on the earth. Right. That's right. We going to live forever. Keep reading. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world. Uh-huh. And they do, that do hold of his side do find it. Oh, they're going to be put to death. Right. All those found on the other side of righteousness that are unrighteous, they're going to be put to death. Uh, keep going. Go to uh, 3 and verse 4. Hey, real quick. Verse 23, where it said, For God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity shows that uh, Adam was a god on earth. That Adam, right. uh, Adam was just a regular man, but naked. In a garden, right. like they make it seem. Adam had power. Right. He was a god on earth. And he wasn't white neither. Oh, I bet he boy, I bet he had so much power, bro. <laughs> right. I right. bet he I bet them animal dinosaurs and everything just bow. Bow down. Bow down. Hey, you gonna be the Tyrannosaurus Rex. You gonna be this. <laughs> he just name all kinds. You gonna be a, a shark. You gonna be this. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. That's what hey, stuff. That's funny. I I got this book at the gas station. And uh you got was, a book from the gas station. Yeah, it was, it was a it book about it. It got some wisdom in it. It, it did. It I'll has some it. wisdom in it. But this made me laugh. It was talking about Adam, and uh, it said his occupation was a zoologist. He was a zoologist. I, I, I was like, what the hell? Uh, yeah, I was like, what in the world? He had he ruled the whole planet, but since he named the animals, he was a zoologist. <laughs> Damn. I was like, man, what? This is crazy. What the hell man. going on, man? Oh, Stupid. Praise. Read the, read that scripture. Oh, praise. Was of Solomon three and five. Bring and, it out. and having been a little chastised. No, verse four. Verse four. For though ye be punished in the sight of men, uh -huh. yet is there hope full of immortality. So though we be punished, though we went through the curses of Deuteronomy 28, though we uh, cursed in the city, cursed in the field, though we went through all of that. Right. Read, it, read that last part again. Yet is there hope full of immortality. That's what our hope is. It's full of immortality for those that are keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. That's, That's right. Matters. All praises. Hey, pull up that article on uh, My for Pricks. It says mifeprex. Pull that up for me real quick. Mifeprex, the side effects of mifeprex. All right, zoom in on that for us real quick. This is the the, the effects of, uh, go, go, yeah, you can do that. Zoom in on that for me. This is uh, mifeprex. It's basically a synthetic steroid um, that terminates pregnancy, right? Um, let's get that real quick. Mifeprex or mifepristone. Is a synthetic steroid indicated for the medical termination of intrauterine pregnancy through 49 days of pregnancy. 
So through 49 days of pregnancy, you can take Mifeprex and it will eliminate the pregnancy. Go ahead. Mifeprex tablets are available in generic form. Mm -hmm. Ex expected side effects of Mifeprex include. So now there are side effects for taking this, right? So if you take this, sisters, or if you sisters in the past have taken it, this is what you are, uh, um, uh, what's the word, susceptible to. This is what could happen. Go down. Mifeprex. Oh, okay. The bleeding and cramping. Go ahead. Other side effects of Mifeprex include pelvic pain. Pelvic pain. Nausea. Nausea. Diarrhea. Stomach pain. Mm. Dizziness. Damn. Tired feeling. Weakness. Back pain and allergic reactions such as closing of the throat, swelling of the lips and tongue or face. Seek emergency medical attention if any of these allergic reactions occur. So, th think about this. This 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 um this uh particular uh, tablet or medicine that you're taking to to stop you from having children or to terminate a pregnancy within the first 49 days of you being pregnant can cause all of these evil side effects, these harmful things to your body. Then they say at the bottom, if you have any of those side effects, seek emergency emergency medical attention if any of these allergic reactions occur. Meaning you got to go get another medicine from Esau to counteract the other medicine that you took trying to destroy your baby. Dang. That's science right there. This is what science does, right? Now, how do we correct this thing right here? Let's go to Deuteronomy 23, 17. Show you the simplicity in God's commandments. How are we going to stop stuff like this from happening? Look at this, man. This is crazy. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 17. There shall no whore, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. The Bible said real quick, real easily, real, real clean, cut straight to the point. Sisters, don't be whores. If you're not whores, then the man you laying with, you ain't got to be afraid to get pregnant by him. But when you're sleeping with multiple men, you got to worry about getting an STD, getting pregnant. So now you got pregnant by this dude. You know you ain't got nothing to do with him. He done cut you off the very next day. You call the phone the next morning after he done got up and left. You call the phone the next morning, go straight to voicemail. They go straight to voicemail for the next two weeks. Now you panicking because you find out you're pregnant. So you go get Mifeprex and try to take it in that first 49 days to destroy the pregnancy. You understand? And now you got, no, nah, go back to the things on there just real quick. Show all those things again. Now you got all these ailments, pelvic pain, nausea, diarrhea, stomach pain, dizziness, tired feeling, weakness, back pain, et cetera, et cetera. Now you're going through all these different things because you wanted to destroy your child because you got pregnant by a man that you know wasn't right. It was all about lust. This is why the Bible say the way to sin death. You can die from those things. Or being a lot of discomfort. Right. Or she didn't know that man at all. Right. You got drunk and just got it in. Right. Just fulfilled your lust for the time. Read it again. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. There shall be no whores of the daughters of Israel. God say don't do that thing. Right? Keep reading. Nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. And that's why you got these brothers out here. Esau give them scientific medicine. To stop them from getting AIDS or not getting AIDS, just at least stop them from at least passing it. So mm -hmm. feel free to continue to have sex with your partner because of this tablet that we're gonna give you that's gonna stop you from giving it to him. Right. Are you crazy? And they had, then they had a billboards for it. Right. In the black neighborhood. In the right, black right, right. community. Mm -hmm. Hey, saying billboards in Africa, Sierra Leone, Dang. Uganda, everywhere we've been, Nigeria, the same. I said this is the same billboard, different characters, different people on it, but the black face, right? But, you know, in Africa, it's, it's just spread like wildfire. That's what uh, your boy Dr. Anthony Fauci did that thing back in the 80s. But watch this real quick. Go to Genesis chapter 1 real quick, verse 27. Get Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Go ahead. And God blessed them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. No, 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 no. Sleep with a man that you really don't want to be with and take Mifeprex and get nausea. <laughs> no, is it? No, what they say? What the little Bleed, nausea, nausea, heartburn, indigestion, <laughs> no, upset no, stomach, yeah, diarrhea. <laughs> Die, dog. No. So you got to take, take Pepto-Bismol to recover from Mifeprex. <laughs> Die, bro, no, man. He's on a devil, man. Hey. How people messed up. <laughs> I got all this nausea and diarrhea. What's wrong with you, baby? Go still get some Pepto. I done took some Mifeprex. <laughs> Let me get that Pepto-Bismol out there. 
Man, you crazy. Our people, man, our people messed up. This science got us messed up. You know why we believe in Esau science? That's why we'll do certain things because we know I, I can get this leg amputated in the leg. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can get a surgery. You know what I'm saying? Change my body how I want to, alter it how I want to. He going to, Master, God going to help me. The so called white man. That's what they see. Damn. Right? Keep reading. Bruh. And God blessed them and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Hey, you do realize that if the Israelites was in charge, if we, like I'm talking about righteously keeping God's commandments and ruling the earth, there would be no medicine like that. Right. We wouldn't be having that. A sister somebody killing her baby, like, no, we ain't doing that. Right. A brother, because you know brothers, the brothers ain't going to get off the hook too. Brothers give sisters the money to go get that. How much that might for bricks here? I got the money for the plan B pill. Right. I left it on the... What? You're like, what? Damn. That really happened. That morning after pill, that plan... Brothers give sisters money for that. Brothers give sisters money for the uh, for the abortion. And some of these sisters don't never get the abortion. They take the money and run off the weekend and do their thing. Now they got the baby nine months later. He said, I'm not giving you the money for the abortion. <laughs> for real. That's, that's how evil we are. That's how evil our mind is. That's why we got to take this medicine. What you got? You had something? Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, read uh, read Psalms 106 and verse 29, because you brought the point out about things like abortion. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time, like like I said, we let the sisters out of the hook all the time. With that situation, a sister might call them, but they say, you know I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. Let me get some money to go get this abortion. Damn. But, but sometimes it ain't the brother just saying like, like you know, hey, you pregnant, huh? take this money. It's just like, hey, I'm pregnant. Can I have some money go get an abortion? Read what you got. That's right. So, Psalms chapter 106 and verse 29. Can we read all those side effects about when you take that, that type of drug? Read. That's right. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions. So they provoked God to anger with all of these inventions that they're coming up with because they want to stay in their whoredom. That's read. right. And the plague break in the, upon them. And what happened? And the plague break in upon them. All mm. those side effects you saw on the screen, there's a plague that mm. God sent to you. Why? Because you chose to be a whore. That's right. Because you chose now, now you, you be a whore, now you gotta go do something about that. That's right. So now all those side effects break out on you. That's right. All because you go against God. That's, That's right. right. All praise to the most high. You know, they'll say, you know what they'll say though? They'll say what we saying ain't right. That ain't why that happened. Because they went against God. Get that in 1 uh, Corinthians 2.14. And then pull up the next one for me. Um, the Philadelphia Sun about perms. You know what I'm talking about? Science. Science had, jacking us up. I had a sister today tell me she got three kids. I said, where's well, your husband at? I, I said, where's well, your husband at? She said, I don't want to be married. Oh, Lord. I said, I said well, you got three kids. They don't, they don't understand the value of having a family, man. Our people messed up. Man, we got a lot of work to do, prophets. Right. We got to hit these streets. We got to teach the people. They don't know. They ignorant to this Bible. Read what you got. First Corinthians 2 and 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. Natural means sinful. The sinful man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. Go ahead. For they are foolishness unto him. He say, wait a minute. So you mean to tell me all I got to do is stop being, stop being a whore? She say, all I got to do is stop being a whore. He said, all I got to do is stop being a whore monger and somehow God going to bless me to not get no disease. You understand? You can get a disease through a shot, brother. <laughs> you can, that's what they'll Dang. say. They'll say, now you can get this through that. You this could well, what about this happen? You see that at camp all the time. People right. try to find loopholes in God's laws all right. the time. Every time we go to camp. Go ahead. You gotta die. Yeah, you gotta die from something. Right. That's what they'll say. Crazy as hell. So you're gonna die from one of the worst diseases known to man? Where your whole immune system break down and your body can't even fight off a common cold? Nigga, you crazy. It's crazy. Prove what you got. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Some of the judgments of God are spiritually discerned. We know we're not stoning people for adultery, but when uh, the, the, when the husband pop up on you and he shoot up the whole house, that's judgment from God. You understand? That's judgment from God. When you're, when you're cheating on your wife and she get mad and the devil jump on her and then she come to, to come to your job and act a fool, get you fired. You understand? Like, remember that, that happened on that movie, um, Why Did I Get Married Too? Remember she came to his job? Oh, yeah, yeah. And she ran him out of there, and she he, he ended, up getting, have, ended up having a car wreck and dying. Right. That's where they come from. Uh, pull up the one about the perms real quick. Pull that up for me. Let's read this off. Zoom in. Out. Want the title? Yes. Perms, chemical relaxers, and other reasons why black women suffer from the suffer the most from uterine fibroids. Man, they getting they, bro. That's they attacking the womb. 
perms attack the womb. That mifeprex attacks the womb. They at the, then they make they trying to make the men gay and get black women to be with white men. They attacking the womb. They attacking us, keeping us in jail, prison, gay, all that, or sleeping with other nations. And they keeping the sisters the same way. They attacking the womb. What it, what's, what can come from your womb by having a black child, by having a black husband, being married? What can come from your womb that's so special that they got to get rid of it? It's crazy. A messiah. That's what it is. Right. That's exactly what it is. That's right. 144,000. That's right. The end of society as you know it. Right. The end coming. of society as you know it coming from that womb. Right. Damn, that's crazy. Read what you got. Black women are, can you zoom that in just a little bit more? Kind of strange, isn't it? All right, thank you. Black women are three times more likely to have fibroids and tumors, according to recent research. The cause is believed to be linked to perms and chemical relaxers. Wow. Go ahead. A study done on 23,000 African American women Which showed, is Judah. Go ahead. showed that women who used hair relaxing products were more likely to have fibroids. Mm. Specifically, fibroids may be linked to the chemical exposure through the scalp burns that result from relaxers. Because you will see, like, burn it out, burn it out, burn it out, it's burning, it's burning. Watch it out, watch it out. You're like, damn, why would you put something in your head to make your whole scalp burn? That it's makes burning. no sense. Also, you can look like your oppressor. Mm -hmm, right. You're killing yourself, literally, fibroids. Stop it, because fibroids does what? Stop you from having kids. I remember right, when they did right. my little sister like that. The first time they ever permed up, put the perm in her house, she was tripping. She yeah. was crazy. She said, I don't never want to do it no more ever again. She was a little girl, too. Mm -hmm. She was crying. She was hurt about that thing. Yeah. You know yeah, I mean? but all because we hate ourselves. That right. self hatred. We hate our hair. You read what you got? Yes, sir. Girls who got their first period before age ten were more likely to get uterine fibroids later in life. And early periods may also be linked to the chemicals in hair relaxers. Damn, because what they do, they permit these little kids, these little girls' hair getting permed when they're real young. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. A study was done on 300 women of various ethnicities and found that black girls were more likely to get their period at a younger age and more likely to use hair relaxing products. Wow. They've linked it. Dang. Science done linked it. Now you see. Damn. Go ahead. However, there's no specific evidence showing that the use of hair relaxers or early puberty cause fibroids. These things are linked only through association in that women who use hair relaxers have a higher instance of uterine fibroids. Well, wouldn't that be the link? I'm trying to see how they just try to throw it out. Well, that don't mean because right, right. you still go and get your perm, girl. Go but uh, right, right. That, that's some man. Give me uh, <laughs> you big business, so you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you big business. Don't stop getting the perms. Right, right. I'm just saying that most black women that get perm got fibroids. Bro, that's all I'm saying. About, but man? I ain't saying that. <laughs> It's from the it's from the perm. Oh my god! He's out and told you what it is and said that it ain't that. <laughs> That's a liar right there. That's, That's why a God liar. say they like, born lying. <laughs> wow. Get, get Proverbs three thirty one, man. These yeah. born lying, man. So sisters, we encourage you to let your natural woolly hair grow. Let that perm That's grow right. out. It take a little time. Let that perm grow out. Some sisters come in been perming their hair their whole life, right? My wife permed her hair most of her life, right? She let it grow out. Four years, five years later, she starts, she got her natural texture of her hair back, grown like it's never grown before. Why? Because she had to let it grow out. You got to let that perm grow out. Some sisters have to chop it all off and start over. What's wrong with that? Right. What's wrong with that? Most women in the truth got their head covered anyway. If you're right. embarrassed by the little fro, it's going to eventually grow into something. Right. It's going to eventually grow longer. We hate our natural texture hair. They taught us to hate our natural texture hair. Once again, science, because that perm, that's chemicals. That's science. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Go ahead. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. I don't want to look nothing like him. I don't want to look like him. I don't want to like, I don't want my woman looking like his woman. I don't want my wife with no blonde hair on her head. Hell no. No straightened, permed out hair. That stuff dead, breaking off dead. Man, you got some sisters that had beautiful natural hair. Mm -hmm. First time they perm it, it go down here from there. They lose their edges, everything. Get that real quick in uh, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 16. Lose their edges, hair falling out. I know you sisters don't like it. I know some of you sisters mad you holding on to the perm. You still like master's texture hair, right? And, and some of our brothers and sisters that are northern kingdom got that straighter hair. But look, we can't help that. That's for the Lord. You understand? I'm talking about the other nations, black women, they got curly. Even some of you guys in Northern Kingdom, brothers and sisters got the hair like ours, you know, the thicker, woolier hair. Some of them do got that straight texture. Obviously, we know they mix themselves amongst the people. They can't help that. 
But for you that already got the natural kinky, woolly hair, and you want to straighten it out, you envy your oppressor. They can't help they was born that way. Read what you got. Isaiah 3.16. Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty. Because you don't like to listen. You prideful, you hate God. You hate the men of God telling you to get yourself together. He says, so since you haughty, read. And walk with stretched forth neck. And you walk with stretched forth neck. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Rolling your neck all the time. Go ahead. And wanton eyes. And wanton eyes, them lustful eyes. You know, I'm telling you, you know how you just so happen to look across the room and, and you catch eye contact with a sister. She get the blink in her eyes just that perfect way just so you can see it. You're like, damn, what you doing? What you want? <laughs> what, you, what you want? <laughs> Why you looking like that? She just she just so happened to give you the most lustful look ever just when you look over there. That means she was watching you waiting for you to look. Mm -hmm. As soon as you look, oh, this is my perfect chance. Get the band in my eyes and stuff. Man, get such your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't what you got. Walking and mincing as they go uh -huh. and making a tinkling with their feet. That's them ankle bracelets and all that stuff. They are them heels. They come through with the heels. Loud as hell. It's a quiet ass building. Loud as hell. You do, do, do. You're like, oh, the sister came here with the heels on. I already know what you're trying to do. She you coming in the work, white man say, well, there's Shaniqua. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. It's crazy. It's Damn. crazy. Wow. You racist. <laughs> <laughs> you know that what they say? I know, even I know. If, even if your name ain't that, they probably call you that. Because they're alive. <laughs> I read it again. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear it again. Walking and mincing as they go. And making a tinkling with their feet. You're trying to be seen. You want somebody to see you. <laughs> go ahead. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. Uh huh. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. That's some heavy stuff. So the, so the Bible saying that the Lord will smite the sisters with a scab on the crown of their heads. Those perms cause that scab, right? And it also causes you to get what fibroids. It's affecting you. This scientific thing to try to make you look like your oppressor is killing you. It has no match for God's wisdom. God says, leave the oppressor's ways alone and watch how your natural woolly hair grow. Watch how your beautiful locks start to grow. I'm telling you, trust the process. God say, go natural. You understand? Stop perming, right? Now, I ain't going to say you in sin for putting no weave in your head. Some of the sisters for Passover, when they go in there, they put the little braids in their head. That's you. You understand? I don't like it, personally. You understand? That's you. That's what you want to do. Your husband okay with that? That's fine. You understand? I'm not going to say you in sin for that. But that perm, you killing yourself. Skip down to where it say, well said hair baldness. I think it's verse 24. Verse 24. Yeah. And it shall come to pass, instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. Mm. And instead of a girdle. Where that come from? Pants. Pants. Then they'll give you vaginal creams and say, hey, put the vaginal cream on there. It'll make it smell better down there. No! You wearing freaking pants. Your chemical imbalance off. That's why you smell like that. You understand? That's why I smell like the damn. <laughs> That's why I smell like the fish stop when we. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, ah. I'm sorry. Bruh. I'm sorry. You know, we love y'all sisters, man, but y'all got some work to do. Some of y'all. The Lord jack y'all up. Right. He'll jack you up for that pride for heart to spirit. You want to walk around here in tight leggings and pants. All right? Go ahead. There shall be stink. And instead of a girdle, a rent. He read that stink fast. He wanted to get on pad. That. <laughs> Go ahead. It's all right. <laughs> and instead of well said hair, baldness. Instead of what is well said hair? That's that beautiful, woolly, textured, beautiful That's hair right. that you can dread. Mm -hmm. You can uh, get it wet and it turn curly. You can braid it. Right. Like, man, cool. what, what? come on, man. Man, look at this brother hair, man. Turn this brother hair real quick. Right. Look at this brother hair, man. Well said. <laughs> well said. That's, that's it's well it's said symmetrical hell. on both. It look the same way on both sides. Now you see his hair. Now go to this brother head over here with the dreadlock. Show the dreads, bro. You see our hair? <laughs> what the hell you doing that for? You still got him with it's the good, hair? That's good, good stuff. That's what I'm saying. Good right. stuff. Deacon Lava said your dreads good with him. You all right, brother? I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. We'll Open the up, gate. We're we'll taking up with the Lord. <laughs> cool oh, hey, we got uh, Soldier Alyssa and, and also Malachi got dreadlocks. Brother Shemaya got dreadlocks. Some brothers got short froze. Some brother got the waves. Our hair literally can do everything. Right. So why would you take this perfect, this perfection, and then get that real quick in um in, in Psalms 50 and verse 2? Bring it up. Why would you take perfection and alter it? Right. Put blonde in it, straighten it, put perm in it. Why would you do that? It literally can do everything, right? Hey, you, see, you seen that picture uh, that that brother drew with uh, showing the most high God and his afro? 
That thing was cold. You right. ain't seen it? I hadn't he seen got, it. He got the angels like barbers around him. Cutting oh, I did see that. Yeah, yeah, I saw it yeah, a long time ago. Cold, man. It's a that cold thing. Because yep, yep. God hair grow. So he probably got the angels shaping it up. I'm just right. saying that. <laughs> <laughs> angels got to keep the Lord tight, man. Lord, right. He the epitome of beauty. He right, would, he right. would all, he the author of beauty. He right. know what beauty like. That's why he made black people how he made us. Mm -hmm. He made the Israelite like he made her. Then you say, no, God, your perfection of beauty, what you say is beautiful, is not, it's not beautiful. It's what the white man says. Huh? Read what you got. That's Psalms, what I'm saying. Chapter 50 and verse 2. Read out of Zion, the perfection of beauty. What the Bible say? Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty. Read. God has shined. Wait a minute. God shined through you. Mm. When people see you, they see God. Somebody That's told right. me God was a puff of smoke. I said, well, how are we made in his image? <laughs> if God a puff of smoke, if he's a vapor, if he's just a spirit, then how are we made in his image? Because we the best looking people on earth. You know, right. I, that, that's no, look, that, look we jack, some of us jacked up. We done had a lot of trauma, a lot of evil happen to us in our life. But we still the most beautiful people on earth. We that's still right. look better than Esau on his that's best right. day. That's right. That's be, when I went to Africa, I was talking to uh, Captain Hananiah. We were sitting on the bus. We was in Sierra Leone, and the people was walking through the streets, and I was just looking at everybody's face because I was trying to see trying to see if I could decipher who was Israelites, who was Hamite. You know what I'm saying? And I, I started to notice, and me and him was talking. I said, man, ain't none of our people ugly. We all beautiful. You know we God's children. Yeah, we just, sir. We just don't take care of ourselves. We right. don't eat right. Right? Remember that sister who was with me? You was with me at, the, at camp? That sister, she on dope. Remember she told us, she confessed. You were standing next to me too. Yep, yep. Remember she told us, she said, I do crack. Remember she said that, she said that one time. She said, I do my drugs and I love it. Remember we were sitting at camp. I said, look at that sister's skin. It's flawless. Right. Perfect. No blemish, no bumps, nothing. Just smooth, black, dark skin. I said, damn. This sister do drugs. She a dope head on the street. And she's the epitome of beauty. But you gonna tell me, you the Jew? You the Israelite. Hell no. You God chosen people. Ain't no way. Oh, hell no. <laughs> we the epitome of beauty. Stop using, stop allowing science to cause you to alter your beauty. That's right. Hey, let Can't me, stand up to God. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll Ezekiel, close out after your script. Ezekiel 16 and 14. Yes, sir. Because we were talking about the most high God, how he looked, and we looked just like him. But this is what he said. He said 16 and 14. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, and verse 14. Bring it out. And thy renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty. Yo, the renown is reputation. Your mm -hmm. reputation went. We have Fame. a reputation for being the most beautiful people on the planet. The Israelites. Keep reading. For it was perfect through my comeliness. Your beauty is perfect. You don't have to do nothing to it. Just, just. Pick out your pick out your hair, comb your hair. That's all you gotta do. Right. Read. For it was perfect through my comeliness, which I had put upon thee. He put the, he put his perfect comeliness upon us. Read on. Say if the Lord God. All praise to the Most High for that. Hey, it said we per, we our beauty is perfect through God's comeliness, meaning we look just like Him. Right. right. You understand? Christ looked just like Him. So if we look like God, then why are we altering what God made? He made us perfect. We look like he do. Message. Because we don't know we look like he do. Yep. We think God a big white man that's butt naked in the clouds. Right. Touching hey. the finger with a butt naked Adam. Right. Hell no. <laughs> so weird. That ain't it. All praises. So with that being said, I'll pray to the most high brothers and sisters. Pray y'all got something from a lesson today. Scientology, science, it can't compete with God's word. It's destroyed. It's just let it go. If you're thinking about joining that or you were thinking about joining that for today, you got the scriptures. The scriptures cannot be broken. You're not going to be able to debunk God's word. It can't be That's done. That's right. The commandment keeping men and women know how to show you in the word of God the fallacies and the evils, right, and the hypocrisies and all kind of religious, all kind of doctrines, all right? So with that being said, this is another, escaping, uh, another uh, edition of Escaping the Plantation 2.0. Hey, listen. Pray for our leadership, man. Pray for the most high to continue to guide these mighty men to help guide us so we can um, properly guide ourselves and our brothers and our sisters around us, right? Because we're building a nation here. That's we're, right. We're doing what the Lord commands of us. So we pray the Lord continue to bless us, all right? So uh, continue to pray for leadership. Join the Booster Club. 
Help us to the best of the ability to get to the four corners of the earth. So with that being said, I'm also got a liar. I U I C Jackson, Mississippi to my left. Officer Adonijah. To my right. Officer Zariah. To my far right. Officer Hose down. You still offended? No. Damn. Well, I'll pray to it. Simp, 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 simp. <laughs> I'll pray to it. With that we say, Shalom. What's high Christ bless? Shalom. A lot of these demons is trying us. New man alive, I can't die enough. You let the black over nine enough. He cursed the bin on me, can't cry enough. Logging all day for the freedom. I got some enemies more than just eat them. They don't understand it, he told you when Peter. Trying to get back to the garden of Edom. This is the last show. The right yes, judge standing at the door. Six rings on me. Like MJ, two thirds got to go. Double honors, we are part the king. Great light shining on the earth. The laws of y'all can't cut the corners. Tree of life is not a stain on us. Watch me whip a cherry. B.H.I., they put the blame on us. The Bible is a weapon. And you know we always got that thing on us. Who gon' rise up for the king? Tame me faster than I can blink. Redeem me from Edom. These last days, ain't no time to faint. Yep. Big things popping. What time the great whore dying and them bombs need dropping. Most high about this preacher noodle go out first. Fr 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 Cooking coons in the month of June, they can't barbecue like Papa. What you must forgot about Sodom? Don't give me no lip, especially if you send me on ships. Sauce don't need no chips, cherry is gon' dip. Coons of October, that's it. New Jerusalem, that's this. <laughs> Gotta run it back, that's a hit. Backslide on the God, get your wig split. Nation gon' die, it's over, that's it. Babylon burning like a torch that lit. Watch the tone, it's the last trunk. Bombs dropping like a bass drum. 10,000 at my right. And in the seventh trump, thy kingdom come. Don't get caught on the heathen side and lose your chance on the holy ride. Destroying evil, man, all his pride. After a thousand years, he gon' fry.